Oh, man. Yeah, don't worry. I live, in, I live in a box because when we go over here, I'm in a perfect box. Look at that. Yay! I live in a nice, cute little box of where we live. Plummy, thank you so much. Thank you, Plummy. I hope you're having a great time. I remember uh, Mario RPG was a top game of your childhood. Oh, fantastic. Don't forget to pet the puppers. Indeed. Indeed. We had an epic adventure yesterday. We had an epic adventure. An absolutely extraordinary, bombastic, wacky fiesta is where we were. That's where we finished up with some massive, massive wars. We have stripped Garuda. Poor Benedicta has been stripped of her powers. Garuda is now ours. Nom, 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 nom. That is what we need in our life. It is all good. Won't be a 24-hour stream. My family goes away tomorrow morning for the whole weekend so I can stream. <laughs> uh, so we have got a stream Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, so they want to go to dinner tonight. That will be about 7 p.m. As I will uh, have my final hours with my family before they leave us and go on a merry way. Um, I know some people wanted a bit of a story catch-up if you didn't match to catch the VOD. We did stream till like 2 a.m. yesterday. I managed to get a good four hours of sleep before my family was awake. Oh, I, I was planning for more, but it wouldn't happen. Uh, that's what happened. How far are we in the story? We're about nine or ten hours into the story. Uh, we're not... I don't know how long the game is, so we're about nine or ten hours in. What's uh, developed so far is we know our ginger nightmare fueled brother Joshua lives. He survives and has become Fan Daniel. Uh, he's a cloaked figure. Uh, that uh, we're on our next quest is to go and try and meet up with him and um, find out what the fuck is going on there. Uh, there are some implications of time travel uh, going on because we had visions of older Joshua at the start of the game. So whether he's managed to project himself into our memories or project into the past, Something like that, but we had visions as our main character, Clive, here, of uh, Joshua, as older Joshua, when he was still a child. So, we're kind of curious as to where that's going to leave us. That's going to be interesting. Uh, it's another man in the hood anyway. Yes, uh, the main developments I think we had from yesterday is uh, the uh, not-so-friendly ex-wife of Sid... Benedicta is dead. Although, is anybody really dead in a fantasy game? Is anybody... I mean, she seemed pretty dead. We killed her like four times. <laughs> is anybody really dead though? I don't know. Uh, so, hard to, hard to say. Hard to say. But pretty sure that she's dead. Pretty sure she's dead. Sid survives somehow. I'm fully expecting Sid to die at some point soon-ish because he's very powerful and he keeps coming in like a, a hero with his because uh, he is the dominant of Ramu. Uh, we did get to see Daddy Ramu yesterday uh, along as we saw Bahamut. We saw Odin. It was really, really cool. Uh, we are, of course, the dominant of Ifrit. Ifrit is our baby boy and we'll take care of us. Yeah, Sid uh, keeps getting lung cancer and then washing it down with a cigarette. Maybe not the wisest thing in the world, uh, but that's how Sid likes to roll. But of course, all our attentions are fully focused on the power that is Gav. Uh, he is seemingly becoming a fan favorite for some fucking reason. You guys align yourselves with absolute chodes and declare them king. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> Gav apparently is that man. He's no Roche. Let's put it that way. We're looking at half a dozen. Absolute king. Absolute king. So that's where, uh, right now in the story, we know who Joshua is. Uh, Clive does not. Jill has now recovered from the injuries that we gave her because we beat the fuck out of her for being Shiva. Uh, but now she's been healed, so that's great. Uh, so she's going to join our party now, I think. And of course, the dog still lives. Dog still lives. They have already teased Torvald's death twice. We have had Benedicta kick the shit out of him. We have had him... Uh, uh, we had a giant castle land on him. Yet still the dog lives. At least for now. So, we have completed our side quest. This is how we finished up yesterday. Oh, here's Jill. Hey, Jill. Come on, Clive. Let's go to Phoenix Gate. 
I need to know what really happened that night. So I expect a big lore dump here. We are heading back home. We are riding home. Back to where it all began. Back to Rosaria. Back to where apparently we killed our own brother. Although I think we'll be pleasantly surprised that we didn't. <clears throat> Hopefully. <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, we'll see. No, no, no. The, I'm saying that dog dies by the end of the story. That's my gamba. I have 50 subs that that dog is fucking toast by the end of the story. They keep teasing it. Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back uh, The Joshua thing is not speculation. We had that confirmed yesterday that the hooded Didn't. figure is Joshua. Branded, keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. Oh, no worries, Legolas. Thank you so much, dude. Over 34 months. But mostly I was afraid. Uh, he took his hood off yesterday. Like, it's one of the last things we saw yesterday was he'd take his hood off. Oh, the hooded guy is 100% Joshua. 100%. It was like a reveal cutscene. It's definitely Joshua. I hope we get brotherly love and we combine Phoenix and Ifrit together to form Ifrit. X. We should press on. Uh, can I remember how to kill things in this game? <laughs> Riding home, baby. Riding home. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. Oh, Can Gav says. Same for her patrons. Can we trust? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. All right, guys. Gav said. Look at the fusils. I see shinies. Is this a boss? What is the odds this is a fucking mini boss? I'm fucking this big horn up. Right in the butthole. We're about to stagger, I'll save. Oh, oh, get away. Big dam coming! Here we go! Woo! Okay, this thing has all the health in the world. Get it, dog! 11,000 dam! Who's your daddy and what does he do? I wonder if we could do the big drag on him, maybe. When he gets to 50%. Oh, he's can I? Yes, I can drag him. Nice. Oh shit, I did it into stagger. That's a fuck up, and now I've got no abilities to use. <laughs> Okay, a 3.6k three, a three stagger. Oh no. Oh, he's match. Oh, he's super match. Ah. 
just murdering your farmland, mate. That's what I'm all about. Some good quality farmland murder. Oh, no. Oh, group up. Yes. Hey, we. Uh, what did we even pick up? Five gil? Did we murder and butcher all the farmland for five gil? Would do it again though, mate. That's all I'm saying. Would absolutely do it again. Let's make this uh, can you go a bit closer to your friend? Thank you. Oh, shit. Get close enough. Why would animals have money? Oh, that was worth it. We got a good bunch of crafting materials. That butchery was worthwhile. I don't want to feel like a monster. I think we need to uh, upgrade our fire thing even more. The poll says you're a monster. Fake news. Oh, side quests. Oh, we're getting open world side quests now. Oh, good. Uh, let's go up to the Whispering Waters real fast. See what's up there. Oh, that looks like an innocent creature. Let's fucking murder it. You want to make a good impression on the locals. Look, crafting materials give us good. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't a sussy environment at all. Be a real shame if a giant dinosaur came out of the lake. Okay, so crabs. I can deal with crabs. I've got a green. Take the experience. Can't kill them. Does this not feel like something's going to come out of the water and get us? It is PS5 exclusive century. Yes, at least for now. It will be out on PC in the future. I will replay the fuck out of this game on PC. And PS5 is fine, but compared to my PC, it's not quite there. Uh, we are currently running a PS5 giveaway, which uh, a long-standing viewer like yourself should have no issue getting all the entries in. We are fully aware that not everybody has a PS5. I wish I would buy them for all of you, but then I would be they broke. Never finished building the bridge. There. I probably all couldn't. After what happened, right, we won't kill the quest. Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. All right, what accent are we looking at? Stop give me an hand. Of course. Of course. Oh, Franzi Pan, thank you so much for the prime, man. Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? <laughs> Typical. A bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded... Here, Branded as slaves, by the way. You understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. 
You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Yeah. Fine. Fine. That's the spirit. He talks to All like right. every Brit abroad yeah. trying to order dinner. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be I want again, a and don't beer. Go taking any detours on the way. Beer. Do you understand? Beer. No. Uh, it doesn't actually look like there's a time limit on this. So that's good news. Uh, so let's have a little investigation. Do you understand me? No butter. <laughs> if I talk slower, you will learn a foreign language. Right? No water! Water! I'm after water! Right, I'm seeing the advantage now of the aerial stomps. Downward thrust can bring him out of the sky. Okay, that works really well with aerial targets. Like that. Alright, I won't kill these antelope, alright? Well, besides this. They give experience, man. And we're right here. Not killing them would be the rude thing to do. I like this a lot, actually, though. Like, genuinely speaking, they are opening up the area much more. Now it's starting to feel a bit... I mean, it's still, like, a limited area, but it feels much more open world. Ding dong! Yeah, if you could chain it, I've got the double stomp to chain uh, being in the air as well. Uh, is that where we just were? Hey, Weiss, thank you so much. And fuck you for having such a hard boss fight, prick. I'll get you. You just see if I don't. I'll get you. Five gil. Very nice. Alright, no, I think after our next major boss fight, we'll really evaluate our abilities and up them a bit more. Here we more. are. Martha's rest. Yeah, but stuff over here, pal. Excalibur might lurk. Excellent. Another fight. I wonder if that killer bee can one-shot me. I should maybe science that at some point as to whether killer bees can just straight one-shot you. Pick up the loot. Where are we exactly? We're kind of circling round. Okay. 
Don't want to miss the goodies. Yonder cave. Yeah. Okay, we need to go up on the bridge. Okay, so we could go down here. Let's go around here and round this mountain thing, and then we'll come back and go up the bridge. That sounds like a play. Worth! And spin! And miss! Wonderful. Good job, Mike. So good at not connecting with my ability. Tommy! Thank you so much, Tommy! Uh, no, I'm not interested in speeding through the story at all. I want uh, as close to 100% experience as we can get. Although, I've got to be honest, the music discs feel a little out of reach. Forty k a piece is a bit much. How do we get over there? Oh, you fucking lying! Oh, stop that! Uh, let's finish going around the mountain. I see we can climb those stairs up to the quest objective. Yeah, it's Marfa's rest, is what it is. It's where we all hang out and we tend to our farms and our sheep. We likes it round here. It's nice and quiet. Eh? Rabbit pie for dinner. Mama caught it earlier on. He loves a bit of rabbit pie, she does. And bloody cows walking through the field, aye. I was surprised as anyone to find out. Uh, where was that loot? Was it? On the other side of this, wasn't it? It's not an authentic action, it's just me making one up in it. Cows a bit like that. Ah, innocent creatures! Behold, it's me! I am your doom, innocent creatures! So much that. All in a day's work for a man collecting sharp teeth off the ground. Oh, I missed the combo. Feels bad. It's over. It's over. Come to me. Oh, I need longer range. Come here. Get over here. Okay, we did a lot of circling to get here. It was absolutely worth it. Uh, I can't say if you don't like uh, action combat and you're not great with like mega combos and things. I'm certainly not. Uh, they have items in the game that make it very spectacular that you don't have to learn this kind of thing. Oh, we're going up to the sky! To the moon, baby! And we came all this way for seven gil. <sighs> There's always more loot. There's always more loot. We need all this money. If we're going to buy a single piece of music, we need all this cash. Oh, we get there by going round here and then circle round it. Okay. Every guild counts in the pursuit of the uh, orchestra. 40,000 is the price that we saw. Jesus Christ, this area is huge. We've not even remotely gone near our quest objective. This is the biggest area we've had in the game so far. 
I feel like that heavy attack should do more damage. Maybe I'm used like wrong. Maybe it's supposed to be put into a combo like that. Shoutouts to Shiva, by the way. Dropping Jill is doing big work. Hey, 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 but it's all what's happening, Paz. What is happening? God, this. All right, let's go to Crooked Nash's Pier. And then we need to come back. Let's death trip this thing. And then fly! Oh, he missed it. Come here. Oh, music. This was so worth it, right? Music. Here we go. Well. Sometimes we win and sometimes we lose, folks. That's the way it's got to be. That's the way it's got to be. <clears throat> There's a quest to collect all the music. In the FF7 remake, we did like... Nearly all of it. Nearly. Like two songs short. I have to assume Magic Dash is going to be our next big upgrade. Oh, probably a good thing. Yeah. Ready to drag him. There it is. Dragon. Let's just go to put him straight into stagger. Worst stagger ever coming. There it is. Uh, garbage stagger. Oh, he lies on his side. So sad. I'm not going to use our super attack here. I'm just going to... I've got to go for a mega stagger. Oh, I dodged. You saw the animation. You lied in. Here it comes. Murder mode. Go. Ten thousand seven hundred seventy-three, baby. Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right. Well, we got two perfect dodges. Oh God, it wasn't enough though. Drag him. I'll tell you what, we're kind of becoming a, a relentless fucking killing machine, dudes. Alright, why did we murder that sweet innocent creature that could provide burgers for the end of time? I don't know, we already picked up the item. Okay. Uh, I feel like we've explored this then. Right, let's go. Does the old world environment look like the new world to you? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Oh, I'm sure you guys would have like two shot that bull, mate. You're not using ability, uh, fucking giga bull killer. Where you walk up, right? And you press the fucking button and the bull just dies. Why aren't you using that, streamer? I use that ability all the time. Is it because you was fucking bad or what? 
All right, there, Jared. Mr. Stable Master, I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with them. Gizal? Gizal greens. Have they call them Gizal chocobos greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? Shit. And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. I've called them Jazal Dream G Green. A fine investment forever. for a savvy merchant. Are we getting a mount? Parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Oh, I thought. We, I mean, Ambrosia is our mount. I apparently, got one eye now. Look. We get travelers and merchants aplenty through here. Enough to keep me busy, that's for certain. Good girl. You get some rest. Okay, now. apparently we're not getting them out. Fair enough. Let's go see Marfer. She's from Devonshire, she is. Marfer's a good lass. She knows Gav. Is as friendly as Gav claims. Are you suggesting Let's Gav would lie to us? Which stuff was for the Golden Stables again? I think there's a suggestion there that Gav might be full of shit. He goes to East Bull, leave him in the pond. Here, has this thing always been glowing? Uh, I bet there's a smithy in this town too. Shop. What are you after? Uh, we have the Gaia Blade, don't we? We do. We have Gaia Blade plus one. Uh, downgrades, downgrades. We'll buy some crafting materials. <sighs> We're so poor, dude. We have nothing to even sell. Take care out there, eh? All right, we, this must be an end game thing. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish, there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. What a shit job! You think I should just immediately sell my body the second, the second we haven't got enough cash? I suck, I suck dick for a CD. Talk to Martha. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Best accent ink. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection. Which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Oh, Gav's name carries weight. Did you say Gav? Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. Oh, we've got a Gav emote. So, <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. 
Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. I'm not building a bridge. He hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. Change your tune now, aren't you? From the racist ramblings you went on when I walked in here. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. I've already killed His everything in the marsh. Bernard. Are we just should called Bernard? Oh my god. And they Burn it. at the bridge to Eastpool. We've got to go find Bernard. Bernard's the our marshes, man. Then. Let's find that ladder. I, it has been years since I've heard the name Bernard uttered. I don't know what Bernard was playing at. Going into the marshes alone. I'm waiting for Terry, Barry, all these names to show up. I need them all. Oh, a perusal. Undressing greens of Jizal. Never down rod. Last bitter juice inspire violent retching and loose bowels. Avoid the fry pan, lest foul stink taint the room, rendering it none better than slags. And by no means put to stew, lest the vapors overexcite stable boys. Okay, so maybe just don't cook with them. If they come with, like, more instructions than a fucking on. gremlin. I can't be seen talking to you. If there's anything you need, ask Martha. I'm so much of a poor, this, the villagers kind of talk to me. Right. Do you like that? Oh, we, we're definitely going to have yeah, a free the slaves it. moment in the game, aren't we? It's got to rise up in rebellion. Hey, up. We found some music! Yay! Oh, it finally happened! Yes, sir! We are absolutely checking a wiki for where all these hidden chests are. If they're just dotted around random villages and corners and shit. There's no way we're going to see them all. There's one missing. That's the first one we found. Uh, anything else to see here? Uh, there is something down sorrow wise, but I think we goes and does quest first, eh? And we moves on with the he goes game. To we'll find Bernard. And that must be the ladder. Stuff was for the golden stables again. Uh, yeah, if you've got issues with Twitch, my man, uh, the website is by far the best way of supporting us. But I'd really thank you for considering that as well. So yeah, our website is the place. Blind? What? What? Did I miss a chest? No. Did I? Where do you see a chest? Son of a bees, you're correct. Where would we be without our 10 chunks of wear right? I don't care what your orders are, Brad. Get away from me! What was that? It's Bernard! It came from under the bridge. You alright there, Come Bernard? On. I'm a coming, Bernard! There he is. Oh, AoE. Hold on, we're oh, accidental parry? Best kind of parry. Oh, 
Oh, we've had Newcastle, West Country. A distinct lack of Welsh so far, though. I'm holding out for the Welsh. Come here. The Scottish are here, though, so keep your peepers open, will you? All right, Bernard. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. There'll be no Birmingham. You're Bernard, the carpenter, no way. Yes. I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around... I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Hey? Yeah. Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, we but to Blackpool? I, I clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Yeah, make sure you get your interest in for the PS5 competition. We'll close it over the weekend. Ah, oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. Uh -huh. I'll have it done in no time. Thanks, Bernard. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. Yennefer or Jill? We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking Yennefer. this of you after what you've been through. Mm. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. Yeah, probably Jill. And you too, son. I don't You're like Yennefer. with Yennefer. Sid, and yeah. Me and him would go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The outfit is almost identical to the sale. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, right? Almost identical. Ah, uh, I don't learn. Yennefer's very manipulative, though. There's no denying it. Pull that sword from its scabbard in days. Yennefer never treated Geralt right. Right and true and proper. I can't pet the dog. Oh. He, he, he's like afraid of me. There you go. There you go. Doggy's got a treat. Are we happy? There you go. I did like Triss in uh, Witcher 3. I have a soft spot for Ginger. Ah, so you're back. To what happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. <sighs> well, thank Wrong thank opinion. You I'll take, dude. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled ah. with. It's the Blight's fault. They would nothing to eat. I know, she's got that fiery red hair, dude. I don't food. know what to tell you. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't My have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. Do I have to sleep on the floor? Do you know Quinson, perchance? We'd be delighted. Actually, the lady I really liked in Witcher 3 uh, turned out to be a uh, war criminal. Oh. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't you. know what to tell you. <laughs> I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the it's got a still? huge Witcher 3 vibe, unquestionably. Have they been sent away? Which is great. Witcher 3 was my game of the year that year. It was fantastic. They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. 
Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. God, I want the Witcher 4. Fuck me. Nowadays, man. they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. Oh, they've got they the slaves working the, the mines. Okay. Branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes. Well. Oh, John, that's so nice of you. Thanks, Austin. Awesome. Thank you for the 18 ah, months as well. Dear. Four years for Lodge as well. High five, brother. Congratulations on a new arrival. Dear. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. Oh, no. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. This is so fucking dark. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? Yes. No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All Jesus right. Christ, right? man. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Bearers are people who are born no, with magical they've powers. Fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness the heart of this world and I'd have you see it it's not quite as dark as the witcher 3 praise breathe the bloody baron storyline and we'll see me it right at an abbey for weeks Glademond abbey on the shore of sorrowise bay the abbot there is a friend tell him martha sent you and he'll show you what i mean understood Yeah, the Bloody Baron quest line, and even the Crones quest line is, uh... I, I, I would probably go as far as to say that's some of the heaviest video game storytelling I've ever played. That messed me up, but I was having a child at the same time as we played the Bloody Baron storyline, so it's, uh... It messed me up, but... Needless to say, regardless of who's darker, they are not shying away at all in this one. I mean, the closest we came is kind of FF6, maybe? The Where they were enslaving, um... And with the shock the slave collars. I know. But for a child to be blamed... To be uh, the blood by the its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. <laughs> Uh, the blue bar was the stillbirth. Mm, that's a very nice way of putting it. it I mean, that storyline plays out in different ways, depending on the choices you make as well. It's part of the joy of the Witcher series. Mega Crab! Behold! Mega Crab! They'll put their names to the test. Hold on! Come in! I have a steal with Mega Crap! Hold on, dudes.
was safe. <laughs> Alright, Mega Crab dealt with. And it was worth it to murder them all for three fangs. Okay, uh, maybe we could sell these one day for good money. Who knows? Let's head off this way. Adamantois! Hey! <laughs> Back around a man, so it's interesting. I think we might die here. Oh, he's just fire us. Dragon. Uh, let's save our big attack. Oh, we're gonna stagger him actually. Yeah, we gotta hit the head. Oh, spin to win, baby! Got him! Here we go! Mess him up! Oh, this thing has all the hell. Oh, I'm just attacking the shell. That's not doing anything. Christ, I didn't even get his half health. Holy fuck, did he just headbutt me? Oh, I just timed it. A little help. Heal me, puppy. Sick of toggle. Precision dog. Oh, I tried to go to the stagger and wasted it. Dragon. I don't think that'll regenerate in time for the burst. Maybe not good luck. This time. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, he might die anyway. Oh, we got it, man. 11,000 stagger damage. We rise, people. Nick, thank you for 34 months. Thank you, Nick. Uh, all right, was it worth killing Adamantois? That is not the happy turtle. Oh, you didn't like Witcher 3? Yeah, Witcher 3 is one of those games, man, that I think was perfect for me. It's like one of those games, and there's very few of them out there, and I honestly, truly respect people who are like, yeah, that game just wasn't for me. But it's one of those games that I genuinely get, like, confused. Like, I don't know what's not to like in that game. <laughs> It's definitely got weaker parts. Like, I didn't particularly enjoy Skellig. Again, there's a glutton for darker storytelling. Yeah, I thought the gameplay was fine. Especially with all the combinations of your magic heavy, melee heavy. Hybrids were very strong. I really like the gameplay. You, uh, the only thing I, I would say my biggest complaint gameplay wise was that levels were very important in that game, if I remember right. If you were like one or two levels below uh, like a mini boss that you found in the open world or something, it had a pretty dramatic effect on your effectiveness. If you came back with one level extra, you like just dominated them completely. I think we fought some sort of griffin for about 20 minutes with perfect dodging and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and failed because it like one hit us. I think we got one level, came back, and it just died. Which was a little odd. Uh, I definitely mouse and... Fucking headbutt. Whoa! Oh, I got it! Nice! Stagger bar rise! I got the dodge. Nice. 
we're very close. Oh, we have no potions. My one point. Uh, we're in a really bad situation here, actually. We might get uh, Adamantos wrecked here. Go play a bit safe. Okay, let's sail for a Mega Stagger. Oh, that is not Mega Safe, man. Uh oh. I not like rest can i have we got any tents <laughs> a tent would be really nice right now We're, uh, are we close to a level can i check that a level would also heal us uh we need 155 we are not close to a level I kill these mega crabs taking no Potion. We haven't used anything we got here. We picked up all this stuff. No potions. Magic dash. Dog heal only heals the damage that you just took. So if you'll see my health bar, if I get hit, there'll be like a, a more opaque version of my health bar. And the dog will heal some of that. Not a lot of it, actually. It's not the best heal. I'm not sure if we can upgrade that later. That's it. Right, it's like a slow regen. It's certainly not going to be an out of combat heal. God, this area is enormous. Look at this. Riddix. Riddix jump. Should we head to the Abbey or should we continue? We're on so low health. I think we better explore and hope for a, a level. Oh, I missed the downward thrust. It's very important right now we do not get hurt. And I missed that attack entirely. 
Rocket Fuse here. I really, I think a level's our only hope at this point. Where are we? Yeah. Which is the other way into here. There's some loot over yonder. We just throw specials at these to get rid of them quickly. Blue chocobos of medicine must be put down. It's over. Oh, there's still something alive. Don't miss. Thank you. We're so close to a level. One more fight should resolve all our issues. And that circles us back round to here. Any chests over here? There's so many quests about. A bone to call my uh, I don't think saving matters. If we die, it, it will just like checkpoint us before the battle, I think. Honestly, I don't know. We haven't really died in open world before, so it'll be kind of curious to find out what happens should we die. Should we fight the wild quest? Apparently so. Right. Genuinely was not intending to kill the chocobos. Oh, is the bluebird a boss? That's no Stagabar. Thank you, Jesus. Praise be the quest, providing all the goodness. At least we should be low for um, crafting materials for a while. Unless these are all giga low level. Come here, Krabby. Makes me so happy that we've actually got some good open world areas. It's over. Very nice. That's it. Most exploration we've done in the whole game. Drag it. Uh, I'm just going to save my uh, onslaught back here. Okay, let's not take stupid damage though. We're not likely to get another heal for a while. Oh, I dodged that! Stagger! Here we go! Down with Rush not really pay off. 11,000. Oh. I. Okay. Like. A little help. Oh, 
I'm getting, of course I get healed and use more than 50% of my health on a fucking big horn. Half my stagger! There it is. Not too much. We need a super stagger to finish it off. Sorry, big fella. If it makes you feel better, Big Horn, I lost most of my regained health doing that, so in many ways you won. What class am I? Uh, Warrior of Life. Oh, Chaos, depending on your perspective. Hardly flawless? We took zero damage. Oh, fuck you. Still getting sassy. Alright, uh okay. Alright, let's head to the Abbey. I think we got everything out of these fields. Class are you? Lower. Slave class, genuinely, slave class is where we're at. Actual slave class. I think we'll leave the quest alone. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Uh, hopefully the darkness of pitch of some fucking... Potions would be nice. Oh, almost a triple kill. Almost got the triple kill. Chest! Music! Apparently not. I'm actually gobsmacked we haven't had a single potion. We've cleared out all these fields. Not one. You haven't put the dog for a while? It's okay. The dog's not sad. Believe me, puppy is not sad. Puppy knows I love, puppy knows I care. Oh, you can't kill these quests. Oh, that's a I was gonna let them live, but I mean, they're right here. Why if they're concealing some sort of mega item? And they've got bloody hides on them. Honestly, if these quests didn't want to die, they should stop having loot on them. IMO. Stop this man! <laughs> Ready for experience? It's not to be sneezed at. Why if there's an achieve? Have you considered that? Uh, I'm not doing anything for the bearer reputation though. Alright, I'm here. 
Oh, it's an Abbey. They probably heal me. We missed loot. All right, we'll get it when we come out of the Abbey. Oh, that's mean, Pale Carnage. Hey, Timothy, thank you for the six months. Dodge it, peasant. Afflicted, thank you for the 26. Good day Mick, thank you so much. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. What kind of Abbey is closed? During the day. We came to offer a donation. From Martha. Mmm, money. Jesus loves money. That was in the Bible. I see. Then please, follow me. Oh, you could. Oh, if you've got money, everything's open. Heaven's closed. I. I don't want to die. Oh, they take care of the slaves. Please, Father. Something for the pain. Thank you. The light. If it. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Pause. Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. I believe they're affected with the blight. Oh no, he has got turned into stone. First? Seen this before. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use. Oh, are they the ether drained? Is that what it is? With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify. So we work them to death, all quite that literally. Is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Yeah, this is really, really awful what's happening to these people. Their parents give them up at birth. I must offer you my own thanks. And then they're drained for the until they turn to stone. So kindly brought. Uh, their final moments may be moments of peace. And it's to avoid using crystals. Like, they have another source of the magic. They just don't want to use it. I assume the, the crystals are finite. When next you see Martha... Whereas people are very replaceable. Pray tell her that two more have succumbed. This whole world w runs like an Amazon factory. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness, but I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god. Yeah, let's see what we get. The crystal curse. The price bearers and dominance pay for channeling ether through their bodies. So it's what's happening to Sid. The gradual petrification of their flesh. 
It does not affect those who use a crystal to cast magics. Beginning with a stiffness and ache in the extremities as the curse progresses, limbs are rendered immobile and the pain unbearable. At last, the victim turns completely to stone and their body crumbles into dust. There is no known cure. So you can't rest and regain ether. Landlady of the Golden Stables, the tavern at the heart of Martha's Rest. She's also a friend of Sid's cause, keeping the hideaway supplied with both victuals and information on developments in Western Storm. A second string to her business that she keeps uh, secret from the Imperial authorities. A bear, a person with the power to cast magics without a crystal. In Valestia, men and women who awaken as bearers are enslaved. They are marked with a brand upon their cheek and used as tools. A cheaper alternative to the scarce and precious shards. The system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Valestian life that few take pity upon the bearer's plight, seeing them as less than human. Uh, a clutch of humble stone buildings perched above Sorrow's Bay, Sorrowise Bay, in the imperial province of Rosaria's southeastern lowlands. The abbey was built in order to propagate the Gregorian faith uh, after the Duchy of Rosario was made part of the Holy Empire of Sambrek. And as such, is one of the rare examples of imperial architecture in the region. This is not their own. Uh, well, actually, it says, like, our father was the king. Uh, and he was against... It says in his dialogue he was against the, the, the enslaving of the bearers and they tried to treat them well, but... They were still slaves. Like, he didn't change it in any way. He just tried to treat them better. But he didn't actually enforce any meaningful change. Yeah, not the king of the world, but the duke of his area and the, the leader of his people. Uh, we missed uh, a shiny out here. Did we? Not seen it, dude. Maybe we walked over it during the fight. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um. Yeah, what a horrible life. And you know what's always worse? It is the social commentary on it. These people are utterly reliant on the bearers. They're absolutely reliant on the bearers. They enslave and work them all to death, but they're utterly reliant on their existence. <laughs> Just give them meal. They'll be all right. I do not believe there's enemy respawn. Yeah, I don't think you can farm. At least not anywhere I found yet. What you can do is use the arcade mode to replay the level if you want to. So you can farm that. Way. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Any level you've done, you can replay it any time you want. So you can farm that way, I believe. It was good, honest work. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. Oh? So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield, but never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property. 
at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. Uh, lip sync is off sometimes, but it's a video game. It happens. Most of the time, it's fine. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Are we the chosen Lord ones? Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Are we the prophesied king and queen who will bring change to the world? Is that going to be a thing? We are 24 gil short of buying the music. We did get two gil bugs though. We, we do have the money. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. Oh, there it is. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Is Sid gonna die of natural causes? Well, Think of it as causes. my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> that sounds gonna be a really sad death. He's gotta sacrifice like use all his ether in some big battle. And I'm sure you'll have a long and happy strong. life together if you stay out of my way. Oh hold us here! Sid <laughs> oh. <sighs> You like a bit of goots? I knew a girl, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Was she called Benedicta? I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something, doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. It's and dead I don't see it much easier. This is the last words. <clears throat> you might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. 
We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. There's no way Goots is riding a fucking chocobo. Well, then. You have to be a beast. Holding on, yeah, that feels like a big talk. <laughs> that feels like some big talk. Oh, freeze, <laughs> freeze London Chronic. Freeze London Chronic. Oh, freeze, freeze London Chronic. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, man. Thank you, and EVG. Thank you for the four months as well. Then it's like for the sixty-four. Mr. Giraffe with fifty-four. The old and the new subs coming together. Awesome, man. Why would they need bear just to make water if they have rivers? It's uh, it's not. They used them like this is an example of here. They used them to like fill the wells. So much for to all the parts their, of the uh, empire being their lamps the to do all sorts. They use, they just make them use their it's magic like for all sorts of convenience. Shit. At one point, I think in our home village, we literally saw one just filling something with ether. Right. He was just pouring his ether. I have to find him before the Imperials do. Can't talk now. I. Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? Oh, here we go. It's and getting now, worse. One of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He I feel like we're hunting to wait Jews for the during the war. Arrive. It's terrible. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Of course. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right, you don't send a bearer. Clive, Fuck you, Ronald. This might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. I think this goes one of two ways. Either we get there and Ronald's already killed him, find this and we can't do anything Ronald about it, into his own hands. or we there save Ronald spot. from a bad situation he and he doesn't give a fuck. Falls, I wonder. Yeah, I think that's Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. <laughs> ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. Uh, we'll do Ronald's story first. Yeah, 
there anything else to pick up while we're here? Okay. called Norris to you I do as it happens he ran off that way not too long back Looked like he was in a right all hurry and he had a lantern with him for some reason never known him to stay out after dark he was making for the marshes then all right thank you sock rock thank you the five gifted subs and record with 20 holy shit dude thank you so so much me and the you team. Thank you very, very much. That's an incredible generosity. Thank you. That's long one. time, man. Long time we've been here together. You can't have gone far. Wait, we missed the loot? Keep my eyes peeled. Impossible. There are already bears in chat. Keep your nose down. Oh, he lost his lamp. Oh, is he dead already? Oh, no. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Uh... Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Oh, Norris lives. Hold up. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close. This is his best I'll friend. I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. Imagine if this she is all a ruse to uncover Martha. Kind of the most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. Big Sarge. I've got a really sinking feeling this does not pay off for Norris, man. I would like to kill Ronald, I don't know if I'll have the chance. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. This should be interesting. Stay down. I wish my execute actually killed. That would be nice. 
This must be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have to. Uh, I assume this loot is re is spawns with the side quest. Uh, the bearer can't control them. Oh, they absolutely can. I want to check next time we're in the fields what exactly they're doing or whether they're pouring their ether in the soil to promote growth or were they watering the plants? I'm not sure if they were just eat pouring ether into the soil to uh, get them to grow. Yeah, the stupid thing is if you're born into nobility, uh, you uh, get See, given the magic the bearers have. For Martha. You can do a lot worse than serving her, that's for certain. Most folk round here would agree. Oh, there it is. I found your crystal, sir. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. A thin membrane of fetid muck covers the crystal, still in its holder. Otherwise, appears undamaged. Foul crystal? Water magic, anyway. You found it! Oh, thank you! Yeah, nice. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. It was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. I wonder if crystals Lose are, are actually literally again, chippings off well the mega crystals. My nets and take to begging. Because they're not depleted. I mean, they're still on the map as being huge. Yeah, I would assume so. I'm just going based on the map. The crystals are massive still. Let's have a look. Yeah. Now that's the fire one. Uh, got to assume that's electricity. Ice and so on. You haven't been there yet. Fucked if I'm leaving this... Oh shit, I wanted to listen to his there you are, dialogue. Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Better watch your was fucking mace, mate. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Oh, you're regretful now. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. Your best friend. I wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take I know this. they won't, but I really wish these storylines would play out a bit more later on in the game. Like, if you do this side quest, Norris shows up later, or even something darker happens. I think we're going to the mines. They said uh, that the Imperials have been taking all the bearers to work in the mines at the Fire Crystal. So I think we're probably going to go there soon and see all the slaves working there. Uh, we have a lot of ability points. We should do something with it.
We have 2,000 ability points. <laughs> we should absolutely do something with that. Uh, I want to upgrade my Phoenix Shift. I believe mastering this makes it go further. Uh, we've mastered Rising Flames. Okay, the mastery of this allows us to swap it to anything else. Okay, so it won't increase the amount of stagger damage it does. Uh, wicked Wheel. What's the mastery of this one? Okay, distance again. Uh, perform a rising attack, striking all enemies in range. Uh, upgrading this increases its damage, which is a good shout, I think. Rook's Gambit's the counter stance. Aerial Blast does seemingly an absolutely ludicrous amount of dagger damage. What pawn might since rising played? Oh, I can. What's the mastery of it? Oh, the mastery is against the swap. It's different icons. We, yeah, we could do. Not necessary. Oh, that's to dispel magic attacks. And sort of reflect them back. Let's give that a try. See how that works out. Uh, what are we missing down here? We're missing lunge. Oh, we haven't mastered downward thrust. Use play with fire increasing ability, potency, and range. Got that. Execute a magic burst on the ground. Pick that up. I'm not asked about charged magic right now. Or oh, taunt. Alright, I think we have to start swapping abilities now, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, I really like Rising Flames. I don't think I want Heat Wave. I like I like Wicked Wheel already. Hmm. I'm super so sure what to do with that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm replacing spells I really, really like with spells that might be better. I guess. All right, let's 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 swap this with... I feel like this is on a boss-by-boss boss basis. Like, we have to be fighting something that's, const that's doing a lot of magic to make good use of this. You can't swap mid-combat, but you can certainly set your character on a boss-by-boss boss occasion. Like, Heatwave is only useful if they're throwing magical as. Unless it just works without it, so let's science it. Maybe it just works, and it'll do it regardless. It just also blocks magic. Let's change Wicked Wheel to Rook's Gambit. Uh, you jump back and deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, counter potency is increased. Can be used in mid-air. Right. Yeah, we could swap at no cost anyway. Not a big deal. Uh, okay, let's move on. Ah, the slumbering chocobo. Welcome yeah, to the mum's the word. You're really free good to come and go as you please, even to the north. Now the bridge is fixed. He's fixed the bridge. What a guy. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. What a shit Martha's bridge. Light. It's spread even further south. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. What a shitty bridge. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. One of the away. worst bridges I've we ever seen in my life. About us. Right, that's heat wave. Okay, heat wave just works whether it's casting magic or not.
Uh, what about Rock's Gambit? Okay, they still work. I guess we probably want to choose based on uh, effectiveness of damage and stuff then. Oh, we've got quite a few little windy areas here. Oh, and it, it does long range AoE. Okay, Heat Wave actually has some, some power to it. It's got some balls. Yeah, it's like a frontal cone attack. It looks like it's got a really nice range to it as well. Uh, it's got kill out of man's choice yet. Wake wins! Oh, do you think we might be using our ether and die? That would be interesting. All right, we should try and get the counter at the right time. Oh, fuck's sake, too early. Way too early. Stagger imminent. Get ready, Alabad Sice. Merry Christmas. Almost 12,000 damage. Oh, I wanted to heat wave his magic attack. He's on cooldown now. He's ready now. Let's see if we can do it. Nice. God, that nearly did a full stagger bar. Bye-bye. Sorry, buddy. Uh, oh, shit. We didn't buy potions. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, how far from town are we? Can I fast travel there? I would really like uh, if we fast traveled, we got a heal. Does that happen? I can't tell. No, we're not. Okay, it did not heal us. All right. I don't think we can sleep in it. Martha said we uh, could rest here, but... There doesn't seem to be any of that kind of mechanic in the game. Well, Martha's got a lot of say to us. What can I get you? Ask about the rest. Lively enough, isn't it? Uh, you'll have to. Uh, you'll come past the aqueduct on your way over. Back when they were putting it up, all the builders stayed there. Place was as packed as the barrel of Gisal Green. But then the Imperials, the Imperials came. came and the work was called off. All them poor lads out of a job. What's a guy with strapping stonemasons to do? Okay, so we can't sleep here. About Martha. Well, and the landlady of this place, as I'm sure you've guessed by now, some, uh, same as me old mum before me, ain't the most glamorous life, but it has its perks. 
Maybe that's just applying it. If I start with people, I'll treat the bearers better. The lads from the Legion would have me dangling from the rafters. So my other work, I keep quiet. Only ones in the know about them are uh, already in there. Uh, next, Sid, the Blood Axes. The and Abbey you, Lock. of course. But you don't let the curl out of the bag, eh? Keep it shut. Okay. Mind how you go. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So far, they've not introduced anything where you can rest and regain HP and stuff. So I think it's all potion related. Now, we can't use any of the inns. Although, I, I, I actually, I want to die over the world. I want to see what happens. I'm not being a cheapskate. I just, I can't, I'm curious what happens. Uh, this is the wrong way out of the bush. I'll buy potions later, but I'm pretty sure if we die, it'll just put us back into the fight and give us a full inventory of potions. That's what's happened in the, uh, when the major boss fights when we've died. Sure, but I don't think saving matters either, but you never know. to science it because then we don't need to worry about it later on right i know that what's happened in the past when we've died is it's just it's respawners and it fills our inventory because with heals so you can't get hard stuck because uh we already went down there enemies have respawned actually after fast traveling that very well might be a thing <laughs> So you very well may be able to farm an area. Will we die first? Or we'll die first over there as well. I might drop down. It's very good against bosses, but I don't think we need it. On the open world. Damage is more preferable. But I am gonna do that. It just it doesn't do DPS, it fills the stagger bar. Let's change that to Rook's Gambit. And change this to Wicked Wheel. That's better. Okay, at least that does damage. Yeah, that's better. We'll struggle a bit against larger enemies, but it's good. At least when we go into a stagger bar, we should punish much more effectively. Any loot down here? Shit, fellas! Um, you sign the same ability to school cooldowns. I have different. Uh, I I don't think you can have two of the same spell if that's what you're asking with different cooldowns. That would be kind of broken, I think. Nice thing. Especially because my heat slash is so much damage. Oh, that's much better now we've got a flaming sword on that aspect. I was reckless. Chest! No music. I'm looking. Hmm. 
mistakes. To be fair, you got some powerful gear from crafting as well worth doing. see any more loots here and uh, we haven't been to here i don't think let's go see over there we tried the garuda counter uh yes but not on like an actual enemy cast or something Uh, uh. I think we're about to die. Let's go. No holding back. I definitely timed that about three hours too soon. Forgive me. Now, did it keep our loot? And did it refill our inventory? Can't check. We got full health. Items. It did. Four out of four potions, three out of three high potions. It's because there's no other way of healing in the game, from what I can see. So the potions are basically limited casts of cure and cura. Uh, did it remember we collected all the loot? It totally did. Okay. Torgal healed, it doesn't work that way. It only recovers partial lost health during battle. It's not super effective. Oh, now you cast it really fast. Okay. I, I see. I see. Okay, this thing is rapid. Not this time. And relentless. Fuck, I'm mistiming. Everything. This is really bad for us. Uh, we might be able to do the icon thing. Fuck me, that's an instant cast. This thing is no joke. Like, literally just sets up, it still hits you. Not this time. One, two, what is a third? Oh, I tried to do a rough gambit there, it didn't quite pay off. Oh, it's on cooldown. Alright, let's kill it. Okay, so 
there's like 1400 damage. That's uh, a step up in speed of enemies. That's what that is. We'll get used to it, but that was a definite step up. We got an, an item from it. Is it good? Uh, gear and icons. Blood Swan Jess. Uh, Blood Hawk Jess. Increase aerial combo damage by 8%. Um, I think I'll take the flat defense for now. It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working though. Uh, the dodges are all based on animations and learning the fights. Like you got to struggle pretty much every time with uh, a new you type there. of enemy. Over here. Excuse me. I'll use that blade of yours. Is that right, Frederick? Curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Fuck you, dude. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You and the Marfers, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Sure. All right. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. Bryce. You want to know if he's Bryce will get his own way, though. All right. Off you go, then. Feels like a scam. The starving wolves, man. They just want some food, for Christ's sake. And they're whimpering. Oh, I don't like it, man. Gotta find this Bryce. Let him know the road's safe. There you go, losers. I killed the starving wolves. That were all skin and freaking bone. Good job, everybody. Heroes, one and all. Oh, uh, we needed a, a Minotaur thing for our weapon upgrade. Hold on. I don't want this ability anymore. Uh, I'm just using it for damage anyway. I'd rather have gouge. I feel the same about it. Uh, what does more damage? Heat wave is two stagger, two damage. Cyclone is two damage, three stagger. But it doesn't deflect magic. Yeah. 
Oh, not getting the magic combo. Cut down, snake, bud. Way too early. Oh, that was My wounds, boy. Fuck me. Well, I forgot how to fucking dodge or what? Not this time. Garuda, get this. Don't take these bosses. Okay, I uh, got a little sloppy there in the middle, but we pulled it back. It's absolutely worth it. Oh, a meteorite. Okay. Worth it seems to have a different meaning these days, which is fine. You really get punished for some lazy play. Land? Oh, there's another Minotaur. Awesome. I should be able to get us a plus two sword, I think. Okay, I aggroed it by accident. Good, 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 good. I disagree on that one, pal. Stagger bar down. Break the animation lock there. Worth it for the CC break then. Go here to Dragon. Not done his circle ability yet. Not this time. There it is. Get him. Mega Stagger coming. Get him. Thirteen thousand. New record, baby. Flames to me. That's break the gouge early. Can't stop. Ready to drag him. Gotta use the AoE. Really hard to time that if he's right next to you. There's the parry. Let's go for the kill here, fucking. Low stagger, but we'll get the kill. I'll take it. Thor uh... is shiny. Was it near these traps? Scorpion friends. They're hiding a chest or anything?
So I shine it might even crap. So I'm sure I saw something in one of these fields that we hadn't picked up. Yeah, Alright, looks all clear. That's fine. We haven't been there. How do we get there? Let's go this way. Let's go see Bryce. Uh, the parry is really awkward in this one. It's not like souls or anything. Different. But it happens naturally quite a lot. Based on your attack clashing with their attack animation. You, Bryce. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Yeah, I killed three starving, <sighs> oh, decrepit Frederick. wolves. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks, true master. <sighs> Must be cool to be so just openly hateful. Are we four experience off a level? Fuck you, game. I think at our next teleport, we head back to the hideaway because I'm pretty sure we can get quite a few juicy upgrades with all the stuff we got in this map. Uh, let's head to that church or wherever it is. It's down there. Hello. <laughs> Big clamshell gaming. Anybody home? You guys wouldn't be hiding any chests in here, would you? Huh? Oh, you are. Mine. A goblin coin. Okay. Crafting material, I assume. Forever boatless. No boats for us today, my friends. No boats. Hey, Mackle, thank you very much for the six months, brother. Thank you. All right, we're going to Blackpool. Everybody got your two peas ready for the Gamba machines? Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Let's make this quick. That's it. There we go. Nice and healthy again. Now to fight some crazed beast that'll take all my health. No way that missed! That down the punch missed! Why? Stick of rock or a sugar dummy. I don't know what's going on at TikTok right now, but my kids are obsessed with some disgusting sour sweets. Apparently eating extremely sour sweets is really cool. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Rosaria seemed a very different place back then. <sighs> what are the odds that at the end of this is something definitely worth our time? Literal Excalibur awaits us down there. We go up that ladder. Let's go find out. It's two minotaurs, I bet. We got some spooders. Oh, 
Okay. Ah, well, we're not even started our journey to whatever lurks down this uh, pathway. Great. A sharp fang, of which we have about 900 of those. Good, good, good. Take it down here to get the gouge. Ah, too slow the second one. A little help. Well, our first encounter went a little differently. Stagger record, but doesn't last. I fit in the gouge. <laughs> Missed the midway sting again. First encounter, a little bit of practice pays off. And we did this because. 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 Yeah, much cleaner. It's, uh, it's triple uh, swipe into the charge, is the one to watch. Let's do a dodge, pause, dodge. I don't see any loot. Okay, fair enough. A nice jaunt into the woods. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. No ribbon, though. The loot is the view. Ah, how precious. But also, actual loot is nice, too. I actually didn't see what it drops. It might have, uh, for all I know, they're, they're like minotaurs, and they're, uh, killing them gives us a really crucial crafting ingredient. I think it's minotaur collars that uh, give us the big upgrades. This doesn't even look like Blackpool. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You. You're Clive Rossfield. I am. I have returned home. It's me, Hannah. Rodney Murdoch's Rodney's wife. Rodney's wife? Lady Hannah. Rodders? Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <laughs> Praise be to Rodney. It's good to see you too. Gave his life to Lady a just Anna. cause. <laughs> if you have time, I didn't mean it. Must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. 
Uh, what's happened to stream? Um, no major story development so far. To, uh, this the stream this morning has been heavily about uh, really dark world building about the bearers the and how badly they're since. treated. Some pretty, uh, some pretty I can awful well things. Fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. wasn't easy, but we survived. Oh, he tried to cover his brand. And, and now we're back. It, it's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. So. Um, about Rodney. Yeah. Do you think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. He so knows he's I dead. Live here in peace, Doesn't know I did it. Here I shall stay. But I didn't know I did it until like an hour ago. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, we've got to talk about Mummy. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to... Uh... Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh, does he not know he killed him? Oh. You haven't heard. Oh, me. no. <laughs> Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Uh. Oh, oh, no. I... Fuck. I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. That's what it is. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? I assume it's now dawning on him exactly how many people he probably killed. Maybe. I haven't had that confirmed yet, but I mean... Pretty sure. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, Hundreds died. There were so many bodies. So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. 
I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. I assume we're ignoring Dalamud in the sky. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Well, she has a plan for him. We should get some rest. Right. Clive, man. Oh, fucking Clive. time out. Clive. Sleep well. Then again, he might still look at her as his sister, which is, yeah, understandable. At least he wasn't all squall about it. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. <laughs> That's even better. You look better. just like Elwyn did when he was your age. <laughs> How did you come to have some of my father's I'm old I'm stuck clothes? in the dishwasher, Clive. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Step, Clive, what are you doing? Well, oh, he looks a bit like I'm Vincent now. For them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. I love the way the sword hangs, though. Yes, thank you. Like, more over You've to the right than across the back. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. You should have left a note, P.S. I burned your husband. I'm really sorry. Thank you for the food. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Uh, what the hell did we just acquire? Invictus, one of one of set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flames of Mount Drastanus. Invictus has been passed down through generations for use by the Archduke's family and his closest shields. Archduke Elwyn presented Invictus to Rodney on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. The Metean Cross. Meteon is sometimes known as Twitter and called the Custril, as legend has it that the bright red star serves as the moon's attendant. So Meteor is with the red star in the sky. Carrying her gear and equipment, her, uh, equipping her armor in times of battle, this belt was part of a set owned by Archduke Elwyn and kept in Eastpool for when his family was summoned here. Uh, so we got 12 extra HP for that as well. And the Meteon Bonds with another 12 HP. This is great for speedrunning the game, or if you were story focused, you just get a massive armor jump here if you hadn't been crafting and doing side quests and whatever. A long standing Rosarian tradition for the Archduke to bestow a gift to scions of the Ducal line upon their coming of age. These braces dyed in the red of the Star of Meteor were what Elwyn's father chose for him, and formed part of a set of clothes kept in Eastpool for when he and his family would summer there. Yeah, this is a, a really cool idea. They did this with the Garuda sword. I would be really curious, considering we've done all the side content up till now, is when we go to the forge, is there already stuff that replaces this? Because we have had that happened with the Garuda sword, as we got it, and by the time we got to the forge, we out-leveled it, like, 
Oh, we had a, a new weapon waiting for us. Yeah, I, I see this kind of stuff as like, oh, you, don't, you really just want to play the story and not bother with side content and exploring the area? That's cool. We'll just, every now and again, this is the second time they've done it, we'll just bump up your gear uh, so that you're not behind or anything like that. Which I totally think is fine. But if you are playing all the side content, there's better gear and equipment available for you as well. Your chest and the music. Nope, 15 is probably next on my menu, actually. This harvest will see us through winter. I'm very curious about 15, 12, and 1. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its If you're buying, I'm selling. Uh, I guess we could sell all our old gear now. Battle chains. Massive downgrade, holy shit. I don't get why all this stuff is so expensive. Like, when are we supposed to be acquiring this crap? We have done all side missions. We have sold all our spare gear. Yeah, for some goddamn reason, all the music scrolls oh, are crazy expensive. No. It makes no sense to me. All, right, all this is massive downgrade. Got anything else for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, he won't say no. 5,000 for that, eh? Wow. Ooh, we can increase the heat wave damage. Dragon Talons are worth 1,200 apiece. Oh, this guy sells Dragon Talons and Minotaur mains. That's pretty dope. Uh... Come back soon, now. All right, toilet break, everybody. Let's take two minutes before we push on, because I think we're meeting Joshua next. It's going to be a, a big moment coming. So let's go to the bathroom and reset. You know what you want to do? Do what I did. Get into farming. You know what I found out? You can't afford a Twitch sub. Don't matter. Amazon Prime. It's fucking free. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, you're not going to believe this. Your Prime sub only comes back every 30 days. You can do it again. Imagine that. For free. Just on top. <laughs> Marvellous. Let me let you in on a little secret here. Yeah? 
the way you do a prime sub just below the stream. You could sub to your favorite creator just because you've got Amazon. Insane. What a world. Joshua, we need to have a talk, pal. A conversation. Oh, this one? Oh. Cool. I'm Jed. Reference to what you asked in Discord, Bex. It's the um, end of the stream. It's one of the last, very last things we did. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. That we am. You're mistaken. What? Why is he denying his heritage? Oh, you can't he killed fool everyone? me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. Or maybe he doesn't want word that spreading. That would be true, even out. if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. Fucking hell, old man. I've just got here. My bearers. Your people are currently enslaved in a mine. You didn't know. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. We did treat our slaves well, apparently. Back in your father's day. Still slaves, though. Any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire Fame, treated their branded, Joy. we knew that wasn't an option. Very privileged to do stuff like this. So they've been here ever since. 
And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house, and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. Oh, but it's apples. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as Yeah, it's going to be apples, for sure. Was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Back in the day. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Sure, this Oh, he's not throwing himself in the fucking well. He hasn't even got a boat. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. All right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. See the man who sits by a well? Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Uh, that guy wouldn't uh, be elderly. He was 13 years. Name. Apples wasn't that old. No, no sign of him today. Yeah, it's not Apples. Honey, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosales Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. But better there than here. It could be relative. Elderly might Can't be someone who's like 40 years old. Stopping to trade tales <laughs> with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. In these times, 40 might be considered old, yeah. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh... What business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. You don't recognize my armor? I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. I didn't kill my father. Oh, I definitely burnt the evidence. Telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day. Almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure we did. Oh, hold on a mo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taken the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. It'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm 
I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. We can't, yeah. Uh, giving us Let's the outfit the and keeping up the, pre the pretense is, uh... Hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. Hmm. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Yeah, I doubt he's killed himself. That would be a bit of a strange quest line to go on. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Just going home to find his apple basket. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your Just death. wants his apple basket. That's all he wants. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Oh, he's sending me down that path we went on before. Up now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why say Vivi? Oh shit, I didn't notice that before. Oh, that's genius. I totally didn't see that earlier. That is a lovely touch. That's a lovely touch. That's so cool. Hey, double up on loot. Wonderful. Are we going to have to kill the dragon again? Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We oh, he's, yeah, that's not elderly. Grey hair is not elderly, man. Company. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Off we go! I always feel bad when we don't get a good AOE. Yeah. Up we go! Whee! Into the sky, baby. Uh, I have a couple of grey hairs. I have one or two I'm, uh, I've noticed. I have a couple. Are you alright, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Eh? Who are you? Your grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> Thank you.
Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come. Hope restored. At long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. <laughs> so I'm going to come overnight. <laughs> Wake up all grey. Oh, shit. Of course, your grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Good man. I feel like treating your slaves correctly, like Rosalith did, is like not working them until they turn to stone. That's what we provided. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. Oh, we're, we're not going to not fantasy, have slaves, guys. Get but reasonable, it's better than will you? the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. You guys are just woke leftist libtards. That's what you guys are. The blight. What are we going to do? Doorstep. Have everybody be free? Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving Idiots. in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. I don't know, these fields look like relatively uh, healthy. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near <laughs> Fucking no to Dino always faces. makes me laugh. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak I with really him. hope we form Thank a bearer you, army Lord. of magic wielding fucking badasses. Will you be passing through East Absolute on your wizard way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village. And what might be... Excuse me a second. Pumping stuff. Done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well. I'll be my back Lord, anon, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. All right, we're off to the castle. Yay! We can afford exactly one of the three songs we've seen. All we need is another eighty thousand gil to buy the other two. <clears throat> so that just puts our tally at the three songs we've seen at a hundred thousand gil. <sighs> We're almost there. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Yeah, at least we got that going for us. Well done, Jill. Ever the optimist. Huh. Well, 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 this looks a little sus. What's this? Another relic of the fallen. 
Yeah, this looks like super boss dungeon territory is what this looks like. I think Anima lurks in there. That's a very sus door. Can't interact with anything. I feel we're returning there later. Let's take note of that place. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. We've got a boss coming. It's giving us potions. Left. We're going to have to do a fight without any magic. imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. I assume we could still no, use beautiful. iconic power, but maybe not. Be more potions. We have definitely got a boss fight coming. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. You did that. You absolute tit wank. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. You think Joshua hates us? I don't think so. Well, we're almost uh, at this. Uh, this is going to be Titan, isn't it? All right, before we go there, I do want to check this. Do we instantly replace Daddy's sword? I'm very curious. Oh, in fact, it doesn't. Oh, they hit. No, it doesn't. They haven't got any new materials. All right. Off we go then. I'm not sure what. I think Joshua's maybe got some sort of enhanced knowledge. He's got that Grahatia vibe to him. God, I wish Giga Cow was involved in the writing. She would have pushed some of these stories so much further. I predict we're going to finish. Uh, my current prediction for Endgame is that we raise an army it's of bearers. It's almost as if time had stood still. Against the remaining forces of whichever nation we end up fighting at the end. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. I don't mind, Sears. Bring uh, it on. It's just as I left it. That was probably your dad. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Buried memories. I think we're in for a big car big chapter here. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Clive, mate. Bruh. <clears throat> Yo, you fucked right up, Clive. I would go as far as to describe that as Cabram. Is 
Why would Torgal not like the smell of Joshua? He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. A dog who recognizes his friend would not react that way. Sosua? Is it something in the body of Joshua? I don't know why, but that's the biggest evidence I've ever seen that something is not right with whoever that Joshua is. Especially based on how Torgal reacted when he saw us after 13 years. Where he was like, okay, you're my you're like my daddy now. Awesome. Always trusting you, doggo. I have literally let people go because my dog doesn't he? like them. Nowhere to be seen. If Ben smells something wrong with you, you're out. Fuck that. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Jill, please. <clears throat> yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. That's the same mark that was on that other door, right? That blue crystal in the middle? Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Uh-huh. Two and two equals We are blessed by the Phoenix. Thank you. So it's supposed to be the dominant. Joshua. Are you sure about this? Nevermore. Final Fantasy. Every sealed gate must be opened, regardless. Of the Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? Or a boss Hard arena? Call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Also looks to be a shitload of ether in this room. Falcon is literally rubbing himself. Never stand on Jill. the thing. That's mech. That's magic tech, baby. What do 
we do? The usual. Lightsabers? Oh shit! That's enough! Oh, you're both together. Perfect. Two for one, baby. any of this this must be what those the are very elegant like balls oh yeah that other door is a big fucking dungeon If I'm on tier. <laughs> Can you imagine you playing a random FF game like 16 or 17 and fucking Emmett Selk walks out? Well, we've had mention of an airship. Sid has seen an airship. A fucking nut everywhere. <laughs> Now we've got a proper take a beating. Then let's give it one. Raise up Sagamar, baby. Whoa! Okay, he's got a big sword. Get parried on, douchebag. That looks bad. Oh, and get back in. Okay. Time dodge. Fuck oh, he's got okay. okay, he's got literal fucking laser. Thank cannon. you, Jill. Oh, hi. This guy has also. A stagger. Welcome to Damage Town. Thirteen thousand. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, he went right. Oh, I tried to dodge to the right. Too slow. Not this time. Uh, I've learned it now, buddy. Sorry. Learned that one. Uh, we could just kill this guy. Does any of this make sense to you? None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. Oh, we got a gouge modifier? Oh, what does it do? Completely fuck uh, stagger bars? 
Would I take that over defense? What does it do? Increases the damage by 15%. Uh, how does that translate into its stagger? Gouge is what raises our stagger bar massively. Let's see. Maybe the damage translates into more stagger. I try not to use gouge in damage windows because it's not really its purpose. I think gouge comes under being low dam. Yeah, two damage, but four stagger. So I'm not sure the damage modifier is worth. That's what it is. Oh, bombs! Whatever they are, I don't think they're friendly. Okay, we can't stack them to burn. <laughs> They blow up when they die, though. It's over. Okay, they don't blow up when they die. What do they do that makes them bomb? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's just a spitting a fireball. I was expecting it to detonate. A little help. No, they didn't quite do what I thought they were going to do. Which way did we come in? Yeah, we won't Joshua! Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Hmm. Odds that we have to stand on everything on the floor. One in the middle. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. Why would there be a box of cash in here? That makes no sense. To be fair, it completely fucked that bar. I've got to go for a mega DPS burn. There he comes. Okay, I'll take it. Worth it. Okay, that wasn't worth it. Uh, we need to unlock. Oh, this. 
One thing I would like to change is the button to swap lock on targets to the right stick. Oh, my stick. Makes it very awkward. Behind him there, that works. Uh, what's up? Oof, we have one of each potion left. Kinda tough, man. Kinda tough. game is very neat. Another gauntlet, okay? Gouge doing 50% extra damage is eh. Are you really not fucking dead? Die, dude. That's enough. You just kill steal from me, Jill. Watch yourself, Jill. That's all I'm saying. It's just watch yourself. Rook's gambit modifier. Let me guess, another boss. Oh, we got a high potion back, sweet. I don't know, I feel like we're doing heaven on high at this point. Gold vest. <laughs> Does this not have a stagger bar? Oh, no. Stagger bar almost halfway. Just go for the drawback. Seventeen thousand. 
prison. Behold, witness me, motherfucker. Oh, press the attack. Destroying an energy. Not for long, it is. With me. Murder, murder. Nice and tidy, baby. Nice and tidy. That was pretty fucking clean. rank i only got hit like three times the entire fight that was pretty fucking gangster i think it's done what are these creatures and why do they keep attacking us c plus <laughs> you got a c plus Uh, Joshua wouldn't have been attacked because he's the dominant They're probably of the asking Phoenix. themselves the same It's what he was saying earlier. Joshua would not have had to we're fight any of these. Trespassing here. Yeah, we're trespassing. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Yeah, I was saying earlier, this is like Christopher Nolan's Final Fantasy. There's been a distinct is lack of Fort Condor. Kind of mural? It's worth a closer look. Oh, we have another boss fight coming. Yep. That is far, far, far from the last boss fight in here. Ooh, wicked wheel upgrade. I would take that over gouge if it does more damn. What does it do? Wicked wheel 10%? Yes. I will absolutely take that. Well, if we can read into this a bit more, there should be one of these temples for every dominant, right? So there'll be one for Odin, Ifrit, etc. If this one's for the Phoenix, there is likely to be one of these for all of the icons. We'll ATL it when we get back to the hideaway. King Moogle not uh, chosen yet. Neither is uh, Leviathan. Alexander's not been mentioned. Hello. All right then. <laughs> All right. Sure. Lich. 
Surprising small Sagama. Should have been wicked real damage, eh? Paris, unlucky. <laughs> Sorry, Val. Game over. Uh, sorry, buddy. I wish I could say I intended to do that, but I did not. I was just trying to break your stagger bar. More potions. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to have to fight multiple liches. That seems like a warm up to a multi fight. Like we had with Garuda's uh, minions. How is this gauntlet not over yet? Expect. Look out! Oh, that spellcaster really hurt. I guess we just keep going. Uh, source of the Blight. What have we here? Interesting. I don't Another think there's been any mention of the Source of the Blight. The Blight has just existed since we started the game. Multiple liches. Nothing in this room. Okay. It could be that this is draining all the ether out of the land. I could buy into that, yeah, for sure. Something. Made sparkly things. Big boss. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. It could be the existence of Ifrit as the ninth icon that shouldn't exist has knocked the balance out, causing the blight. I might be the cause of the world's suffering.
wouldn't be the first time. Is that blight on the wall? It seems to lead oh, to this room. Is that Garuda? And look what's in it. Yeah, no new lore actually. Yeah, no ATL lore. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand it years. Should be the Phoenix, right? More? Yeah. I don't know. I think it just looks like Garuda. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Perhaps it's all the icons united. There's aspects of Ifrit, there's Garuda. Dominant to fire. Who are you? I'm you. We are you. Rat jam. I think that's the icon. I don't think that's. Uh... I'm back. Okay, I have an idea. Joshua! I really, Stop really it. fucked my brother up. me to be his shield he gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe I should have protected him that day it was my duty Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. 
so that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. We don't know, Night Stalker. <laughs> He's come to terms with killing his brother. We're also in an underground Allegan temple. <clears throat> Jake on it? Passing the flame. If it's like mod check, mod check Phoenix. No fucking way, are we fighting it for it? Mod check Phoenix, wait a minute. Remember to help me to the truth that awaits me. I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. I'm about to take some ankles down, is what's happening. Take that, knees! <laughs> oh shit, get out of there, get out of there! Happy, okay? Oh, I love it when I just swipe at his testicles and nothing happens. I wonder if I could drag it free. Well, this is just a, I don't even think this is happening. This feels like a simulation or something in the temple. We're like inside a memory right now. Wow. Mirror match. Clive on Clive action.
Oh, he swaps place with you? That's cool. That is really cool. Flames to me! Oh, I don't know what that is. Here we go! Welcome to Clive Town! Population U, buddy! Waste of gouge. Feels bad, dude. What? Akuma? Yeah. We have accepted. We have accepted our fate. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. I got limit break! Oh, 
I was wondering where Limit Break was. Generating health non stop. is stronger than your effort, fucking pussy. Oh, the uppercut! Mike Tyson's knockout, baby! fun boss encounter that was fucking awesome absolutely awesome <sighs> utterly ridiculous over the top in a non-cringe way i'll fucking take it any day of the week I think this is Diabolos or somebody. Embrace the power. <laughs> you call that a QTE fight for the last five seconds of that 12 minute encounter we just did? You're just being a jerk face. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. It's nothing? Tell her what just happened, dude. I'd be like, you won't believe what just fucking went on. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. But we were drawn here, right? Was it just us telling ourselves to come back home to accept our past? Is that what it, all it was? Is that what we're taking from this? It was our own mind telling us to go and accept it. No, what we were seeing was the repressed version of him. But Joshua is a person. That's what's confusing is the hooded man that he sees is like the hidden version of who he was who killed his brother. 
But Joshua is alive because he's traveling with somebody else. Are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. Is it possible that in the world two people I bought hoods? is a dominant of fire. Right here in this castle. And I've been running from it ever since. I don't know, the math doesn't check out. But now I know for certain who I really am. But you shouldn't exist, right? That's part of the law. Ifrit should not exist. The second icon of fire who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground was me. Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. Yeah, Joshua wants to us to resolve these I might issues. Might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. Right, that's got to be it. Joshua needed us to resolve these memories. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I think Joshua's a good dude. I think Joshua want. Uh, I was hoping you'd say that. Is not going to be badge. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. Copium? <laughs> You're wrong. I have changed. He is a mass murderer. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet... what brought us back together. Joshua was born with uh, the Phoenix. I don't actually know how Jill got Shiva. Is he happy or much? If he is here, then. The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. We're under a time limit. Meanwhile, is it Chad Thunderdick? <laughs> Certainly is. delivered who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit paid him tell me it's fucking benedict's head now sid wouldn't do that but it would be funny i let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me well, find out where he is Crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him and all his filthy brood, and send every last one of them to out. No! Yes, yes, my lord. Well, I think Daddy Titan's coming to the hideaway. It'd be the brooch that he put on her.
Now, Sud, Sud loved her as well. He wouldn't put her head in a box. It might be the brooch. Or her belongings or something. He left a brooch on her body when she was dead. Could be someone framing Sid. Benedict. God damn, that fucking Seven movie has fucked all of us up in relation to boxes. None of us can ever look at a box anymore without expecting a severed head. And there's got to be nothing more horrifying than opening a box and seeing Gr Gwyneth Paltrow staring back at you. Five has gained control of Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as Ignition, a fiery lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the limit break gauge. Plots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and can be confirmed via... Okay, so we've got even more abilities. Uh, the limit break gauge is located beneath the HP bar. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime into Ifrit by pressing both the buttons when the gauge is full. Gauge fills in battle both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi priming temporarily grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regen, and guard breaking strikes. So, what next? We return to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right, we should arrange an introduction then. Can I swap between three? No, I can have two. Oh, they come down here. Oh, they're just extra abilities. Awesome. So I'm going to storm of fireballs that circle around Clive, damaging nearby enemies while also absorbing damage. Will of the Whites. Ignition. Oh, no, they are specials. Okay. Ooh, I like the look of that. Three star on the dam, two star on the stagger. Does that replace uh, Rising Phoenix? The same, but it has the charge aspect to it. Uh, I mean, we need to try it, so. The mastery on it. Upgrade makes the AoE and increases its damage. Cool. Uh, eh, not really asked about Will of the Wikes. What else does it do? Increased fireball count, enhancing potency while nullifying up to four attacks. For a really tough boss that we're fighting, that might be really cool. To nullify attacks. Let's try out ignition first. Uh, let's swap... Scarlet Cyclone, I guess? Uh, it just told us LB. Uh, gives us break, guard break, gradual HP recovery, increased attack damage. Basically berserker mode in uh, many games. Toggle, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh no, has the village been destroyed? Don't tell me Apples is dead. Has the Blight reached them or something? It doesn't spread that quickly, right? You fucking rats. What happened here? Imperials. We've got a live one. <laughs> Remember our orders? No surprise. <laughs> Who would order such a thing? <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool.
Hold on, hold on. I gotta line this up. seems to charge very quickly. Oh, if, if people aren't in a line, I'm actually branded? so mad. You were born a slave and you'll die. The finale damage on it is insane. <laughs> Oh, we should kill the healer. Oh wait, they're almost in a line. Kill all the Got him. Ducal dogs. Brrrr. Ducal dogs. They were innocent people. <laughs> Oh, I think that one sticks around. I want to see what happens when we do a boss stagger with it. That's where I want to see how it goes. More? Really? Why? What could we do with a limit break stagger? Okay, limit break does not last very long. I'd rather that. They give it you regular. Oh, that was... Uh, I actually don't mind. They give it to you more regularly. Uh, it's a little burst. I hope we don't end up using it as basically a heal. Bella sent them. Mummy sent them here. Huh. My mother ordered this. Yeah, rumor has it your mum's not very nice. Uh, we should kill it here. Is he dead? Did you get him? Oh, I'm not gonna the, the midway dodge. There. All right, let's see how this does. Ready? Here we go. Oh, it does stand still. Oh, awesome. It's gotta be a weak stagger, but it does keep them in place. Uh. Okay, does it give us a huge heal? Uh, I'll remember the follow-up, mate. You fucking clown. All right, here we go. Oh, 
15,000. New record? I think that's new record. Oh, did we, uh, we got an eight, we got a 16k. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if it had some bonus damage taken. I'm not sure if the stagger multipliers like FF7 I'm remake. Sorry, Lady be. Hannah. Oh no, Rodney's wife's he dead. Deserved so much better. Oh fuck off, man. What these people did. Better than my mother. Yeah, take a gill. She doesn't need it anymore. Oh, we're too late, Gav. King shit. Clive. on the orders of the Duchess, eh? Yeah, we do have a custom Gav emote. <laughs> we knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And Time for a crusade, quick. people. Last I heard he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi. Oi, oi. Can I leave used lot to take care of things here? Used lot, of Jesus course. Christ. We'll make sure oh. we get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Uh, yeah, we should get some lunch. You're absolutely correct. We should grab some foods. Did we not burn the corpses or something? Honey yellow. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Of course. Of fucking course. Lord Kutger's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> of course, the honey yellow rat man is here. Of fucking course. Hmm. We can't go literally anywhere else. We have to go here. Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. Yes, we do. Uh, no upgraded stuff yet. I imagine it's after visit Sid. Right, let's make some lunch and then go talk to Sid. We can eat while we're watching the Sid cutscene. Sound happy. Right, give me two minutes just to whip what up some eggs. What it could be?
My name is Preach and I've been a Displate user now for five years. About six years ago, things went bad for me. I had a wife, two children, and I wanted to start a prominent streaming career. There was one problem though, and that is that I just couldn't get good. I noticed that my children started to beat me in Roblox, and very quickly I became completely bald. I could no longer even beat Mario 1-1, and all my chat was just Pepe laughing all day. And then I got Display. When people saw the displays on my walls changing from month to month, they could see the vibrancy in my personality. My hair started to grow back thanks to Display. I was now outside and loving life. My stream exploded and I managed to beat Elden Ring blindfolded on a no-hit run. I became a god gamer and you can too. All I can say is thank you Display. Was it? I'm sorted. Okay, let's go see Sid. Let's see what our boy Sid's got to say. I feel like we've got some side quests coming. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick breath.
can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. We go through the door. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. I'm eating. No cam while eating. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? Oh, ideal society, Inc. For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end. Never realizing that they too deserve a choice. That was fucking commie to me. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. You should sing a song of ice and fire, baby. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. What's up, Dave? Oh. Earlier. And the last of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, you will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. This is the Heaven's Ward team having a great time. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and cluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Oh, yeah. I suspect this guy's a douchebag. <laughs> the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. 
The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> he looks like Mads Mikkelsen. Surprise guest star. Sandrek is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being yeah, wrested this is away, dad. it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. Ah, God told me to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask God. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. <laughs> Conquer the world. You're in charge. Steve Jobs ass, motherfucker. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Hmm. Oh, we didn't get to see Mummy. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. Is it what we suspect? We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. Yeah, it makes sense. It fits but the, where was the it all picture. Gone? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. Would that mean the crystals are foreign then? <clears throat> Maybe not of this world? All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. Get Gav fucking answers. What answers got a Gav? It's more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn Correct, by Big something Maggie. that size. As to where it's all going, mind. Well. I can't know everything, can Well, I? we just saw giant pools of it. We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether, a gift from the heavens. Gift from the heavens. For centuries. Foreign. Nations have fought and fought for that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Well, Luke, you Maybe the <laughs> truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Higher-ups, the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Big true. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down 
in order to build us a new one. What say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid you. I'm shot. It's still alive. <laughs> you could have just said I. Why, I man? It's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> For this. Hmm. All right, so the the vendors are just upgraded as well. Have we seen all the icons? We've got Shiva, uh, excluding Ifrit. Shiva, Phoenix, Titan we've seen, Odin we've seen, Garuda we've seen, Bahamut we've seen. Is there a, that's that gives us six? Who else are we missing? We uh. No, we haven't seen Leviathan. We haven't seen. We're missing two. Okay, there's two icons we haven't seen yet. Oh, Ramu. Did I say Ramu? So that gives us seven. Phoenix, Shiva, Titan, Odin, Bahamut, uh, Ramu, Odin. So we're missing one then, right? Yeah, Sid is Ramu. I need a fucking notepad. <laughs> okay, we've seen Garuda, Titan, uh, Bahama, Odin, uh, we've seen Phoenix, we've seen Shiva, uh, da -da -da. we've seen Ramu. That's it, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six. We've seen seven. All right, so there's still another Titan out there, uh, icon that we haven't seen. Yeah, there's one left, because if it shouldn't exist. All right, I'm just washing my hands, and then we're good to go for the rest of the afternoon. Desk is tidy. Things 
all set. Camera on. All right, let's go see what our new vendors have got for us. Uh, we picked up an item off Ifrit uh, when we killed Shadow that might give us a new weapon as well. The Tower of London is ready. Right. Keep us standing with it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, save that link to me. I'll check it later. I don't want to disturb the stream much more than I have with lunch. What do you got, buddy? Because I picked up a ton of craft. Google! Alright, mate. Careful. You don't see that breath of light, Koopo. Well? What do you want? Flame Tongue. We did get a new weapon. Well, there goes Daddy's sword. Replaced immediately. I do say so myself. Unlucky, Daddy. Uh, sash plus one we already have. We already have that as well. Can we reinforce? Nope. And? Well. <clears throat> yeah, Star Cry must be a continuous upgrade of uh, boss weapons. What if we could sell Daddy's sword? So, God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time. Or a flam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thought, did the model change? I don't want to know. I think it did. Uh, I assume everything you have is poor people shit. Heat wave and Rook's Gambit. Lionheart Sonic. <laughs> It said that one's own limits are made to be broken, but uh, uh, gradually fills the limit break gauge for 30 seconds. Okay. We've yet to use any DPS potions. Uh, I'll buy uh, a high potion. This it one should be be fine. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it in tires Borbile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Will ya? All right. Sody! Oh, sorry, I missed a load of subs. Clonovar, thank you very much for using your Prime. Pierre, thank you for using your Prime on us. Magdari, Sody, Dave, Hoobah, thank you very much for the four months. Mackle as well. Thank you all, guys. Sorry, I missed those. Well, we're doing story stuff. Like Seat, Clive. Uh, we'll go visit so Tomes as well. Going through with it. Since been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him, but that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, do you serve? Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. <laughs> Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. We like the chaos. Lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble is making it to the capital. That's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. The dame. That oh, we're going to see arms. an audience with the dame. And it's the dame. We'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. We're going to a this whole house. A woman, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. 
we are got to see... Uh... Oh, he knows a thing or two about it. Alliant reports unlocked. What is this? Alliant reports are now available for viewing by speaking to goats. Uh, the Alliance report counts with the hideaway's mess. These reports compiled by the Curse Breakers contain information on quests currently available across the game. Okay, we got some side quests. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other... I don't know if it's fun, I don't know. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. Not I warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them. I all. bet this unlocks some mega bosses. What do we got? Anything catch your eye? Find a new quest. Use uh, Goats Alliance reports to only find new quests around Valistia, but also travel immediately to the Obelisk Waypoint near their location. Oh, they've made it convenient. Are you sure this was made by people who worked on FF14? Alan? Oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? No, it depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> you're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them set. That depends. Are you gonna make them like giga slaves? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. And are you gonna stick them in I'll the field? Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue oh, breather. Jesus Christ. Looks like. Talk about downtrodden. Could you not get them some fucking shoes? That might help out. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us. For speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. You haven't even Thank fed you. them. I won't be long. I don't understand why these people aren't I'll happy to be here. We stuck them on a bench. We did nothing for them. They don't trust us. I don't understand. It doesn't make any fucking sense. So confusing. That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his dog? Sun's setting fast. They'll all be back from They should be so thankful. Uh, this is pitch black. There we go. Can I have another cup, Teddy? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. I love this town. It's so welcoming. Oh, my I apologies. don't see why these slaves even have the remotest the problem. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. 
There's some hey, bread. You didn't see that they eat their fill. Mmm. <laughs> There's some nutritious bread and wine. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be satiated for days. Don't tell me. Turnips for some. Here comes nutrition. Did you see? Yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. Oh, the bread will soak up the wine. May we? Mm. Truly. Oh, nice hard bread. Fuck yeah. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. <laughs> oh, we Jesus sat Christ, and that's no so one sad. Shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I guess. This is really depressing. There's some nice old stale bread and some wine. Let's wash it down. Mmm. Free bread for life. 200 gil. <laughs> We're saved. Christ, why is this place so freaking dark? Master Quinton will never forgive me if I. Emil! What's your story? I, I, I want no trouble. Okay. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I Deal. do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I Are we going to fight the, the Queen Bee? Gotten worked up. And little wonder, this will be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You the look best like you grapes can handle that land. blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade such in such high resolution. Please. Rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lost Wing needs those grapes. Bit of world building side quests. All right. No problem with me. I don't know how it looks on stream, but I find it so hard to navigate these dark buildings. Like, they're in perpetual darkness, even with the brightness turned up. But how did the grocer know his daughters? Looks clean to you? Yeah, it must be my monitor sign. Oh, Come here, bees. Daddy's here. Your story. I'll have you know, mal in the village entries, no small talk. Okay, big shoes. I see. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Shinies! It's just money lying on the floor. Awesome. I'm not suffering from depression. I 
Alright, that's five girls closer to buying ourselves some quality music. Let's make this quick. It's a baby wasp, you absolute pussy. I love it when I press literally all the wrong buttons. Uh, this is a lot of wasps. Like a huge amount of wasps. Okay, I hit that wasp so hard it went to spawn. Death crush is the way. We desperate. Got another one? There we go. That was a lot of bees. Bees carrying cash though. Looks like that was the last of them. A close-up of the grapes. Uh, I don't really have a zoom function, unfortunately. I try to provide what I can, but I I I'm limited by the, the nature of the game, you know? We've also been through that vineyard several times. Here and then left, was it? Oh, dumb pal. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our goat and rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master uh, we've not died on idea. That's all today, I don't know. We wanted to give bearers a place to work. A place where they'd be oh, safe. Oh, we did. Yeah, we died in the open well, world. Which was more of a science experiment. You certainly seem to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honour. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so <clears throat> that's everything done, right? Apparently, there's something going on in Martha's Rest. Could be a continuation of our story with Norris. Probably not, but maybe. I would really like that to be the case. It's happened. It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're going to kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. Uh, no, I didn't get to sleep yesterday because we got the game early. All right. I'll see to your problem. Why we only streamed to like 2 a.m. Oh, yesterday. You. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. I got four you hours. You looked a nasty so bunch, night. though. I'll catch up on Be sleep tonight. Be careful in there, right? All right, time to bully. That I can do. Hello. Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. You dare rob Martha? That's not gonna fly, dudes. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Get him, lads. I 
I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been if here, they're going to put two enemies next to Maybe each other while I have that spell? I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. Really bad day. The blood axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. I'm tempted to swap... Uh, I'm tempted to master ignition to fear of what might happen and to swap it with one of Garuda's spells. Then you do Rosaria a great service. We could service. do a massive stagger fucking you today. window. You're a useful man to have around. Here. Can't really use ignition on the bees because they're in and the air be a and they're all spread out. Waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Well, uh, you say that, but Geralt is in the game essentially. Oh, the PC version of this is going to be absolutely fucking dope. 120 frames, max graphics. There he is, <laughs> the man of the hour. You're the one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? I am. Martha was singing your praises. Ah, takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Well, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Okay, you did stop talking Thank about my dead again, fucking and, father, uh, right? And the loss of my empire. Take care of yourself. Fucker. Okay. Uh, that's everything done here. Rest of the world in good shape. Apparently so. Something back in the hideaway, though. Uh, I think 12 months till PC. I think it'll give it a full year. This is definitely a console selling game. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. You never know. Yoshi P might see uh, fit to bestow us early. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? Was for Sid. You fucking clown. The letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Alright. Fine. Tell me where to look. I've gotta be a mailman. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If I it's bet there, it's from uh, Hugo. I'll find it. Yes, Sid, you Wonderful. Fuck. I'm now, coming I have to, to kill run you. if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? 
Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. Okay, where is that's who I lost? Oh. Very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Sounds good. Uh, oh, it's where we just were. Son of a bitch. I bet it's next to the bees. <laughs> Gotta say, the side quests aren't super involved yet. They're getting better, but. Uh, the courier said his pack very convenient. while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. Did I just reload this area and keep getting two gil from here? Maybe this is how we farm for the music. More of the lost supplies. We just constantly respawn here and get two gil a time. Five gil. That's seven gil a pop. We'll have a hundred thousand in no time. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well Speak ask around. <laughs> they do have watering cans. I think they You're were the putting uh, ether grapes, into the you? soil. Are you here for Master Quentin? Can you see the grapes, guys? This nearby. is your chance. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Do I have to either A, kill a dog, or go through dog shit? Because... I don't actually want to do either of those things, actually. So, <laughs> you get to do both! <laughs> oh yeah, very cool, Schnippy. It's looking very, to be a fine cool. harvest. I think the side quests are the weakest part so far, but uh, I expected them to be improving over time. They're good for world building. Am I looking for a dog? The shad's all salted and smoked. Popper. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. That is a. Hungry looking dog. But he's waiting long enough already. That dog needs some bread and wine. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Something else has opened up here. Oh, maybe it's two icons for this. Otto barking at his lot earlier. There you go, maybe pal. Your job is saved, courtesy up. of me. Oh, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. Well, we are doing a PS5 giveaway as well. You, people haven't um, got one. Found the things you dropped. You gotta be in it to win it. Though. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. Uh, I don't know, Russell. Only a little worse for wear. I know I've got dinner later with my family, but we'll. Uh... Hey, Ben. <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me, then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter. Is it about Cursebreaker business? <laughs> If only it's from his daughter. Sid's got a daughter? She's off studying in Canver. 
And her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did Is a service. Is that Benedict's daughter? Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. That would be a bit of a twist if that was to come out that they have a daughter. Oh, there is. There's something here. The needs of the many. It would be strange if they didn't bring up this. What do you want? Yeah, all right, little man. In a weird couple of days. Another post guy. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left it's some hot, time ago and hasn't returned. I know. You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own? Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? Yeah. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. Oh, we've He'll been there twice sure. now. God damn I'll it. Speak to him. Ah. Safe travels, my friend. Okay, no to anybody who plays this later. You can do all these side quests in one frigging go. Right, that is everything out of here. Yes, okay. Back to Slave Town. Might as well get some bread while we're here. Hey, Whistling Duck, thank you for the nine months, man. Thank you very much. Are we having a fine day? That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his daughter? Literally, basically in the same room. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Correct. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't Hugo say I'm surprised if he has been devoted. Benedict loves him an everybody. Afternoon. Though, thinking about it, he I, should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? Is it a field full of bees? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to <laughs> let me know. Yeah, uh, Benedict's right? had a very, uh... <clears throat> Let's just say if Benedicta could be spread very thin with her affection. Sun's setting fast. Super affectionate lady. A lot of love to give. Well, she knew what she wanted and how to get it. Let's put it that way. What do you want? Doors open. You've got water and food. What is it you want? Hey. I'm just here fidgeting.
Good belly rubs. I've just given him rubs. He's just hanging out next to me. And his breath is so hot on my goddamn leg. Right, there you go. Lie down. If you're hot, just lie down. But I'll just let you know it's hot as balls in here. It's colder everywhere else in the house. Hello? Randall? You dead? Not dead. <sighs> The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> reckless sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll I'll do do another one of them big bossless bosses. You go back to before. Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Well, Ben will have to wait. Ben gets all the... In fact, he didn't get any attention because I stayed up very late. He can't just live between my legs. <laughs> oh, it's an ogre! Why am I not surprised? You gotta love this one, guys. I went the wrong direction! I think we should go for the full limit break at all. Let's uh, start it up. We got full LB. We need all coolies. And to be better at pressing our one. Garuda, lend me your strength. Not this time. All right. How many spins are you doing, pal? Flame. Wait. thought he was dead. A D rank stagger? That's a new record for sure. Where's Randall? Are you dead, dude? Uh, run synced. Okay. Hold on. Let me uh, reopen. And hopefully everything should be fine. All right. Oh no, Randall's dead. F. Been playing for quite a few hours. Give it a little refresh. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Well. Unlock. Oh, 
hardly seems to be our problem, but... I don't wish you loved the guy. I did my job. If Randall's gonna go and get himself killed fighting a Gigas in the hills, that's on Randall, honestly. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. We could have brought the corpse back. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Mm. Just another dead guy. All right. Time to talk to Gav. That's all side quest complete, I think. Yes, sirree. Gav time. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? Oh? <laughs> <laughs> These two Blind fucking... For a little mischief, Those two are fucking... Say. Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake's head is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And Roll the dice, is this since demise? Well, we have our icons to fall back on. And Gav's icon pull. Sid, I, I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, primary and icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. Hmm. <laughs> and did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the camera. Yeah, we did the sucker. We did well. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. I'm still waiting for a Tomberry to show up. You know it lurks. You, too now. you know it's here somewhere. They're always in the last place you think they'll show up. It's not going to be a stealth mission. They don't do stealth missions. I see an airship, though. Looks like an airship. We're back in Lost Wing again. I spent half my life in fucking Lost Wing. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? What? Uh, oh, we're going to a new area. Do we not traverse to Dragon's Airy? Have we not been there before? Yeah, Northern. Did I go to the wrong location? The gross. 
Yes, and now his daughter had been stealing up to the vineyard. All right, yeah, we've had no chocobo mount yet. I think this way was cut off earlier, so maybe it's open now. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? Yeah, we've done, yeah, we are in Clairview. I think we could have walked way closer, but either way, it don't matter. Maybe there's some shinies along the way. Just like that. Hello. Mine. Well, we've got our Moogle in the town. No loot. Oh, shit. Wait, is this the older type that's a bit slower? Yeah, it's a fire one. I'm just gonna go for a one hit combo kill here. Not quite. Uh, I was oh, meeting Jill there, it said. Oh yeah, it's the tail whip I never got quite right. I don't know. Uh, at least we got a dragon's talon. I'm not sure if they're worth or whatever, but still, we got them. Oh, there's actually a new pathway we haven't been on. I see why we couldn't go up here. Yeah, and I'm still awful at the combat, like. Not even close to what's possible. Oh, beautiful vista coming up. I see some little mini dragons. I don't see any shinies though. I see shinies. Northreach. What are these? Let's murder them. Oh, it's done. Are we in a big field? We certainly are. A big field that also leads over to another area and another area. Look, man, they could have been protecting anything. Raptors! I've seen these before. Smash them into a wall. Although they appear to be lootless raptors.
for shinies? Oh, I've fallen in a ravine. Oh, I found a chest though. Yay! Fuck a dragon. damage there, but Mess with this in the last few percentage. There we go. This should kill it. Okay, good shit. Uh, LB fills so quickly, I forget I even fucking have it, honestly. I should get used to it a bit more. Let's not kill any more innocent creatures just roaming the fields, eh? Before you say anything, the raptors are clearly not innocent. They're dinosaurs. Supposed to save the LP for next game. Don't start that, man. It's so unnecessary right now. Yeah, look. I will LP this bullshit to death. There you go. Are we happier now that we LP'd it to death? Is that good? Wasted LB, Madge. Super Madge. Just take over this side of the field. I mean, it did give us a heal, so there's that. I prefer life without dinosaurs around, to be honest. Not having a T-Rex out in the streets is not a bad idea in my mind. Probably was, yeah. We were looking at it from that embankment. I didn't see what it was. Combat system just gets better and better and better and better and better. Every new upgrade you get just improves it. 
especially when you start finding the abilities that really suit how you like to play. Like, I only like having one big stagger breaker. But I love a juicy, fat stagger damage profile. That makes me happy. I imagine there are some people who prefer to stagger way faster so they could uh, keep the boss like stun locked as much more. I would imagine so. Whatever you prefer. I really like. I mean, I, I also like that really silly ability. So like ignition is just so dumb. I have a lot of points that are wasted right now in abilities we're not really using. We should probably think about fixing that. Like, this is just so fun to me if we can line it up. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. You can, uh... If we go to abilities, you can just... In fact, can we individually unspec things? That's what I would like. Oh, yeah, you can. Reset. Oh, I can just take points out of shit I don't want. Alright, Wicked Wheel, uh... Gouge. What was the next upgrade for Gouge? Increase the follow-up strike speed. Sounds good. Look at that. Uh... We're not using Heat Wave right now, so we can reset that. Uh, what was the Scarlet Cyclone upgrade? How do we not have this? We use this. Oh, we're not using that right now. We're using Ignition, that's why. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to actually. Okay, uh, let me try this then. So I want to master Ignition. I need a thousand points for that. Uh, but I'm going to drop Wicked Wheel. So if I get a thousand points back from that. And I upgrade. I master Ignition. I can now put Ignition on Garuda's hotbar. Did I do that right? What I was planning to do? Oh, because I do want Scarlet Cyclone. Oh, I can't. I don't quite have the points for it yet. Okay. I can't do it just yet. I'm a little bit away. The next one is to swap it around. Can I save builds? No, I don't think so. They just let you play around with it as much as you want. We could upgrade our limit break, actually. I didn't see this. Adds a second limit break gauge. And mastery adds a third limit break gauge. That's probably going to be worthwhile. Uh, I need to relearn. No, I don't need to learn Scarlet Cyclone. We're not really using it yet, are we? Yeah, what are we using right now? Wicked Wheel damage. And Rising Flame damage. Uh, I think that means we can also buy... We have 800 points. I actually want to try out the mini charge. What happens if we master it? Increase the lunge distance. Ability potency increases with distance. Oh, so lunging in gives us actually a damage boost. Interesting. I don't get what taunt's for. R2, and it's an awkward press as well. R2 with faceplate to pull the attention of an enemy target. I'll play around with that later. Right, I think my skills should be also equipped. For one snap.
Should have uh, gouge and wicked wheel. Yeah. Wicked wheel's damage profile is fucking terrible. Yeah, I've got, when we got a few more points, I'm actually going to swap that. I'm going to go with uh, probably uh, Fire Whirl, Ignition, and Rising Flames. During Stagger. We should get some ridiculous Staggers there. We'll try Tornado up. we got the some more points as well. used to speak of a brothel. But that was north of the checkpoint. All right, we're going to a brothel. Uh, I hope the dame has friends in the south. And the fish, fish! Fall from the sea of... Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a branded touch. You there! Fancy uh, a drop the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Are we allowed in here? Big on! The gates for citizens, not serfs. Too poor to get in. I simply can't decide. I'll just have to take them all. Looking for a dame? Or a brothel? You want something, you come back with your master. I won't sell to some stray branded. Hey, do you happen to sell some ludicrously expensive music? Like? Oh, you do! 50,000 gil! Right. I'll be here if you need okay, me. Okay, just checking. Just checking. I was very curious if you sold some... Uh, I was... Uh, yeah. So our current tally of money to buy the music is 150,000 oh, gil. Do. They get that color. Right. Okay. As long as we're all on the same page. It's pretty reasonable considering everything else you sell is like a thousand gil, and then the music is fifty thousand. Have you no other bearers? Those two look rather used. Used? Yes, but spent hardly. They both at least. Time to farm the bees. Them. Let's get to it and start farming some bees. All right, let's meet our madam. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? I'll give it my best. Have you ever heard of the You're limit the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Isabel the Jezebel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I'm just going to destroy I the whole world. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, 
His master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Probably wants a feet rubbing. It's probably nothing. I got this. He probably wants a foot rub. She's been on her feet all day. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Don't make me crawl. We're not going to do it, Clive. Got to stand firm. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. You gotta fuck them all. Oi, hold up. He's on the grind, that lass. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. Nice to see you guys too. Have a fine evening. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. I'll bet you do. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. We're going in, boys! Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. We're bees into the honey pot. Well, and if anyone requires they have a standard company, uniform. Tell them she is feeling unwell. Oh, hang on a minute. Madame, Issues. You look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. I think there's internal troubles here. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. I mean, it's brothel, so I don't think we need to zoom out, right? Braga, what have you become? You've changed. You've absolutely changed. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder? It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Oh, I'm early. That gives me yes. plenty of time for activities. Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having oh, no. left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, 
and take this. Reminds me of uh, that Witcher 3 quest where the guy was cutting them all up into... Proof of that trust. Pieces and dangling and from his bathroom. Hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask No, he was hanging there. all the limbs from the top of the... Yeah, Horson Jr. Yeah, yeah, that was him. <laughs> you predict a happy ending. Maybe she's got a new life. Maybe she's like, doing a pretty woman. It's possible she's doing a pretty woman, right? If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. No, you are always welcome here at the Vale. Did I go in? No. Oh, I'm yawning a lot. Oof. Hands tired. What up? Oh, dog under me. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. Pregnant? She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. No shit. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatien was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Not very busy, are you? Let's see what her chambermate can tell the us then. staff you've got. God, I lost a comb once. I cried for a week. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatien. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Who? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatien. The and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Bankrad. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. Mm. A man from the garrison. Seems a trick I to have the a is bad order. feeling about this. A very bad feeling. Well then, I suppose you'll need. But again, if he loves her, he wouldn't hurt her, right? But we all wish that's how it went. That's the day done then. Right. <laughs> yeah. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. <laughs> Hold your tongue. That's you actually a Manchester voice. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings oh, with he's a merchant kidnapped there. Her. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Oh, he snapped her. Sergeant's got it in for us two. As if... <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. Oh, it's so painful. I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. I feel like I'm in Camden Town. we offered her our protection. 
You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being Dudes. properly looked after. <laughs> you don't want this. All right. Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. I can't tell the NPCs talking on mic. Suck my balls, you lot. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? Go. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Okay. Are you even gonna have a stagger bar? This guy gotta oh, be like when super you got hardcore. Mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Alright, I'll tell her Leon gave me a pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Okay. <clears throat> As you were saying. Fuck me. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at, Leon? <laughs> huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? <laughs> Fine. Fuck <laughs> me. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? I feel like the side quest of like a dark sword. Are you really Man doing this again? Win the dame's fate, anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. I'll be dead. Yay! We did it. <laughs> Can I go now? Gregor's Gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. Gregor's Gash. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullet. You can't he say that about a drills. god. Might be the old sort of point. Gash. I'll leave you to it. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dames in safe hands, I suppose. I don't know. Gash is a disgusting a word. If you have to tell the it's dame worse when this, a girl says it. we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Yeah, that is a real 90s term, Gash. The Emperor's fine. Yeah, on second thought, maybe don't mention this to the dame. We wouldn't want you getting into trouble for brawling now, will we? Uh, that's pretty fair. All right, what's going on over here? Gonna pinch a loaf? Yeah, pinching a loaf's a rough one. Gash is really nasty. You're one of the dames, I see. Well, we'd best be back to this. Excuse me, you there? Yes, the sir. with the sword. Hello, Etienne. What is wrong? I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So, you are an associate of the dames? Yeah. Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. Oh, And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be oh, yeah, willing to help a fellow exactly in his like hour this. of need? Exactly like this. This is all. Why this not? is how we all sound. 
Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... Fresh from, fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. I'm and about to get I busted. I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Gotcha. Well, time to stick something up our ass. I see no other way about it. Oh, they let me come and go freely now. Nice. It's not been half a moon since Ben was talking. What do you reckon Yannick's done to upset the dame? Mathau or if oh, besides the officials. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank you. Oh, he needs I help too. You. Can I trust you to be discreet? <laughs> About what? About this. About what rush? I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. I assume you're doing something right. about it, right? But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which... Brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Sure. Fine. What do you need me to do? Deal with pause, oh, I you. assume. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. More drugs? What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. <laughs> you will is. be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. I bet the voice actor cast of this game is actually just... Like a Crystal's hoot. curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. All right, let's feed the paws, or do we keep the food for ourselves? Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Literally, they're healers. <laughs> they have him blowing the laundry? Jesus Christ, man. You look like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. 
Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Yeah, true. Yeah, All the petrification the settled in. That's something at least. Yeah, the back of his legs done. His arms gone. Very much based off what happened to Grahat here. It's alright, we're gonna fix them all. Don't worry about it. Leave it to me. Oh, Spoody Bard! Greetings. You are one of the dames chosen, I see. Me. I am but a nameless weaver of song, who would warm the hearts of the good folk of this town with such humble cloth as the muse might permit me to make. Very nice. Uh, they start turning to stone when all their ether is being drained away. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. They get worked from the day they're born to just pour their uh, magic out until they eventually turn to stone and crumble into dust. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand. And he works at the stables. Hmm. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. That's the day done then. Uh, where is this guy? He's like How down the veil, then drinks. Oh, there we go, down here. What have they got this guy doing, I wonder? He's just. Keeping the fire burning. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Oh, Who told no. you to rest? Spot those damn flames! And you, if you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Oh, we don't do anything. We just let it be. <sighs> don't want to rile up the natives, I suppose. We're on a mission. Yeah, one step at a time. The right to confiscate Reds, whites, spices from the far away. Oh, it's just abuse of drugs. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. Every jounce and jostle of this unexceptional leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melodic tinkling that is best ignored. Sounds more like money than drugs. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. Oh, there's the drugs. <laughs> All this for a drink. Not just any drink. The very best Especially distilled for my most discerning customers. Mm. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Betienne likes it. 
Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Is it milk? Is that what it is? Was the herbalist provide? I have no business with brand. Fuck off, man! Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. Hugely Witcher inspired, this hugely. Is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. <laughs> Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Definitely gonna check the inventory before we return to Etienne. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. There's a lot of abuse. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this year it'll make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. Oh, we're friends you now. Right oh, here. I see. Well, because I have something for you. We're friends. I see. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflam's finest. Just as promised. Cigars, perfume, and drink. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. Oh, he's got a Question hot day. How can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Do we need to find that out? Hmm. I'm not quite sure we do. Is it any of our business? I haven't seen you around the bay of late. Ah, you have returned. But well, we know the what they are. Is yours. A box of cigars. No longer is there. The result of cigars are possessed of the distinct aroma of vanilla, cherry, and clove. He said, uh, so we got a rose perfume and brandy wine. No, it was, it was Yannick who's kidnapped the girl. Delightful. Oh, gone on an adventure well with her. Pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the war gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Hmm. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you, as will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Yeah, I don't think it's any of our business. 
I'd rather crystals than people. Uh, we still got one more poor to breed. It was uh, to breed <laughs> to give bread to, <laughs> uh, who was healing the soldier. I meant bread. We're not breeding poor. So that's not the plan. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! He's out of juice, man. He's got no batteries. So work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Yeah, it looks like you need it. I don't think the cyclists have that kind of effect, Zach. Honestly, they're more world world building stuff. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. Anybody else deflated? <laughs> A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway. Oh, there he is. The right back at it again. Well, I'm pretty sure we're heading for a complete global rebellion from the bearers. I am very, very sure that that is what's going down. All right. Are you here for business? Or pleasure. Business. Why not both? Though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people Ew. around here who seemed bothered by Ew. the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, to that matter. So I wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> lease? Uh, I'm not getting lease from going. that. I wasn't getting lease through that then. Wait, it's been a really long time since I've heard Lisa's voice, actually. In fact, now when I hear the word lease, like, all I can hear is lease, right? She's amazing. She's my spirit animal. That's what she is. I like Lisa a lot. She's strong. She's powerful. She's fierce. She's everything you need. I can't remember what Lisa actually sounds like anymore. It's become a blur. Right, pal. The day may have given you leave to walk freely by the Northridge, but one there. step outside these walls, and you're just another branded. Well, we can see a mummy crystal over yonder. This is pretty. I'd say one of the prettiest areas of the game we've seen so far. Can we actually run some battles? I know we don't. Did you just keep going? Did you just piss off? Fair enough. We could really do with a chocobo about now, I think. How big is this area we're in? Woo! 
buddy. Uh, we should probably go and pick up the side quest, actually. I bet they involve this area. An Imperial Watchtower. Should be well stopped. Imperial Wall. You're not one of us. Oh, you could direct oh. them? No way. Actually, monk to fear them for real. Come here. Oh, you can pick them up and then carry them all. You can literally grab more as you go in. That's awesome. That's so good! The Demon Tamer Sash. Door's locked. Uh, is, uh, did we actually get an upgrade there? Does it replace Daddy's Sacred Armor? It does. Sorry, Daddy. Unlucky. Didn't take long to lose all of Daddy's favorite armor. <laughs> Jeez, six puppies. Yeah, for sure. Like, Yoshi P has no issue with people, uh, with his team borrowing from other games. Why not? See what works. Modify it, get creative with it, get inspired by it. We are not killing the chocobos today. Orafla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Hmm. Well, we know where we're going. Check this windmill real quick. We're right next to it. Oh, she's turned to stone. Look. She's completely petrified. Feel kind of bad as to what happens to them wolves, right? Uh, <laughs> kind of messed up. No benches in this game, no. The set. Um, have you seen my Chloe? Not today. I let her out of her pen while I did my chores, but she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Is it a cat? Is it a cat? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. It's absolutely a case. person, isn't it? Let's not keep her waiting. 
Yeah, it's a hundred percent a person. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. I wonder if we just found Chloe by the windmill. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. <laughs> this just keeps getting worse and worse, man. job. I hope they don't mind the interruption. Hmm. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had prissy hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's not daughter. Not the kid's fault. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... Not the kid's fault. That kid's been taught since the day she was born that that branded was nothing more than a goldfish. I'm... I, I, I'm so sorry, Chloe. Now we educated. <sighs> Quest complete trauma inflicted. S rank trauma. I would rather kill her father, who absolutely knows better. You, Brandon, here now. Well, I'm sure this story will... I, I've got a good feeling that this story will be lighthearted. Let's go. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there. Gorping! Rescue him! All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spy branded. for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. Nothing like a father who just won't defend his son. Just waits for someone else to come along. 
Even though he knows exactly where it's happening. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Mm. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! But if I can help it. Everything looks kind of normal. Don't see anything super weird happening. Four XP's worth of mobs to kill. supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Fucking Malfoy ass motherfucker. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this. Before it happens again. I feel genocide coming on. Not the first time in my gaming life. I feel a genocide coming on. The familiar tingling. You, Brandy, come here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. If <laughs> You should be able to summon a free and fucking burn the place to the ground like a nuclear bomb. Very well. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. No! Oh, come on! Yoshi P, please! I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do, at least. Uh... How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Things are gonna. I mean, this music is so ominous. I think 
You know what I think? This is what happens sometimes, is they slowly ease you into where they're going, and I think we're going down a much darker path the more we go. I add, I think this might get really, really dark. We're all it's victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Yeah, Yulmore style. I feel like we're going to Yulmore. Never gets any easier. Burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Have we got a mass grave? Let's put them to rest. their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. That was awesome. Tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. <laughs> what will folk do when they bite back? I wonder. I kind of like Raymond. Two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Yeah. For the help. Raymond is to. fucking colder Take than care. Shiva's tits. You never know. Our paths may cross again. I fucking hope so. Till then. Till then, buddy. My man is fucking North Pole cold. He's Finland cold. He's my wife cold. That's crazy. You do this? Of course not. Wolves are dangerous creatures. Raymond is my new spirit animal. Of course we're going to see. Where the fuck do you think I'm running to? <laughs> I don't think we'll see anything, though. I think it was inside the house. This music is a vibe, is it not? Oh, I didn't see the bloodstains. I'm going to mess around my monitor's colours. Being very old. Oh, there, just a little patch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's actually so much clearer on my preview. <laughs> that's weird. Well, that was our introduction to the town we're going to. That was our welcome to the town we're going to. Let's go. Had another brandy drop in the field yesterday. How do they expect us to finish the harvest when the ones the capital sends us are already half stone? Do the work yourself. Sorry. Sorry, was that crazy? Let me just have a pee. Sunny Tune, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you. Whistling Doc, thank you very much as well. Thalagos, thank you for picking up a t-shirt, man. Let me have a pee.
do recall that I just said that quest would be light-hearted. <sighs> Didn't I? <laughs> Let's go. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Yeah, very light-hearted. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. Oh, how will this end? may have information on her whereabouts. Is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. <sighs> I'm in full Many Giga Cower mode now. I know way she's not here, but I sense her presence. But only one's been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader. Oh yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help. Found the love of her life and moved with on. with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. That's what happened. Her and Yannick fell madly in love with each other. And frankly, it all worked out well. Thy hey, do you have any super expensive songs? We'll be gone. He sells Invictus. If you missed it, interesting. Oh, that's for me to sell if I want to. Don't need that. Ten thousand for the heat wave. Forty thousand. You do excellent. That brings our total now to a hundred and ninety thousand gil to buy the music. Okay. Weren't expecting any more. Just checking. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? That must be a bug or something. It's so weird. I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Why would music be Rumor for New Game Plus, though? That seems really odd to me. few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes, yes, that's right. He had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade he it for a the new comb? one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. Uh, this comb has become quite the uh, roller coaster of emotions. Why would he take her to the ruins? Are they going to go as far as rape here? You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces. But her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. Remember that, my wayward lamb. Are you fucking kidding me? You have people outside hunting people for sport. You have little girls dragging women around through the fields who are turned into stone. And you're going to tell me about fucking Gossamer's Gash or whoever she is. Pious motherfucker. Well, back to the wonderful Soka music. I'm sure everything's it smells fine. of death here, Togo. <laughs> I'm sure everything's fine. It smells of death. <laughs> okay. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Oh, these dogs are uh, no joke. 
The sound effect of the dying though is pretty funny. Ha! <laughs> Hot dog slaw. <laughs> Damn it all. Bodies. A man and a woman. After all this, they ended up getting eaten by wolves. Let me guess, we find a comb. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. Oh? Bodies were eaten by wolves. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. Well, they're both dead. Things. I have. Did someone kill them both? You both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Ah. Oh. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb... Isabel gave her the comb. It was a gift from the dame. Yeah. <laughs> If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Yeah, this is a heavy area of the game. I need to tell Isabel. We still haven't got into the uh, main part yet. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. Well, the lesson we can all take away from this is never buy a comb. Born. Turtlefish, thank you so much for the 10 subs, man. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, dude. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> stupid weave game. Weren't expecting any new brand If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, my lady. Of course you could, had it not been personal. I have a story to piece, tell. Lucy. You will be pleased to hear that your companions I'll have arrived. Tell. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then? Hmm. I see. My dear Tatia, 
It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatian. I believe it was yours. I mean, it's inferred, but I, I, we're going with murder-suicide here, right? Killed them both so she couldn't be with anyone else. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. If I can't have a no one will. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. Is that right? According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. The Vale's the brothel. Isabel's the madam of the brothel. And thank you again. This is going to get really ugly. But what is the veil? What is the veil? I still haven't finished the last boss of Destiny 2. I'm all the way up to the last boss. I've not even pulled it. I was like, oh, we're at the last boss. I'll, uh, I'll log in later and play it. That was like four weeks ago. I'll log in when I've got a couple of hours to work on it. I don't know what's going on, but my YouTube feed is full of people. I think they've added something recently to Destiny, and people are like, I've had enough. That's it. I'm done. Some sort of microtransaction thing. All right, is Jill back? I, I want some happiness again. I want to remember what it's like to feel joy. Remember when we were we had happiness? Remember? Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. Is it time to catch frogs you, in a it's pond? Worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. When's that? When's the snowboard mini game? The deserter come home. Are we doing squats? Which is why we'll be taking the back door. <clears throat> How do we plan on destroying this crystal? It's pretty big. <laughs> Gav is the only source of joy. Body free and just wreck the whole place. But the shards still carry magic. It, it's not enough to just break it. Does the shards still carry the ether? We need to melt it or something. We need to like literally break it down. The pleasure houses? Fuck yeah, dude. I like the sound of this. A great deal of time around prostitutes in the last few hours. Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than a. <laughs> He's faking. Brothel. Really? Doesn't seem very private.
What an impractical so size of cash. How do we proceed? Where is she going to put we'll that? using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start? These Size, guys need to move to digital. I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the Oh, but Jill's not happy. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? Is Jill born, Brandy? I don't think she was. Spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Not sure how she got Shiva. Our fate means nothing to them. She's a dominant, but no, I'm not sure how she got Shiva. It was not mentioned words. when she was a young kid. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this. Yeah, I don't Can think we? we'll get. Uh, they'll go into the, like the deep lore of how you discover. I can't. How but Joshua had it. What you mean to rob of their comfort? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Yeah, she was a ward Jill. of the state. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. It means my the deeds ATL has got it. We her ATL. I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. the city we go the Yulmore Drake's head in majestic silence as Drake's head ever stood vigil over the empire of Sambrek and its bejeweled capital is it out? yes it came out midnight day that makes sense uh, but we will continue this tomorrow because I've just seen my family has arrived so we will uh, save here Yeah, I think it's a good stopping point. We can kick off straight into the big city uh, in the morning. And as you can see, I am yawning and my family is now here to say goodbye. Uh, we're going for dinner with them because they're going away so we can stream over the weekend. So we'll save there. We are currently... Oh, is that the current time? Uh, interesting. Tells you the time we saved it. Oh, two minutes. Well, you've also got like nine hours of VOD, so you're all right. <laughs> yes, we will be streaming Saturday. We are streaming pretty much every day until next Friday, where I will be going on a trip for one day to look at a secret MMO. Uh, so I will be doing that next Friday. I can't give you more details than that. Other than that, I will be doing that next Friday. Uh, so I can't even make a video about it until like next year i don't think <laughs> something like that uh something weird along those lines but uh <clears throat> it is what it is it's the only reason i'm not here so we'll stop there for today awesome day awesome game just getting better and better and better gotten really dark 
Well, it'll be interesting to see how dark it goes. We'll be back in the morning, 8.30 a.m. For reference, it is currently 4... About 4.15, 4.13 p.m. here. So, we'll be back. All right. Be awesome. Be good. I'm going to get some rest. We'll see you in a bit. Bye, guys.